So my starting Zoom screen seems to be gone. <laughs> Thanks for the lurk, Butterbear. What's up, everybody? Hi, a little bit early, a little bit early. Uh, yeah, I'm just kind of hanging out in the background and looking at stuff. And then I look over and I see a black screen. I was like, wait a sec. And that doesn't look right. I did install some new stuff. Maybe I broke things. So uh, we'll find out soon enough if everything is messed up. Oh, anyway, how you doing, Zoe Butterbear? Ellie's here. Ellie got first. I also noticed that the uh, little hoser didn't congratulate anyone. Congratulate. That word seemed to take a little bit of effort. Congratulate. Congratulate. Uh, Ellie, congratulations on getting first. I don't know where the little hoser was at. Things are a little bit bonky. Come on, everything. You can do it. I hope. <laughs> Anyway, whatever. Um, yeah, so we'll start a little bit early. Congratulations to you, Ellie. Yay! You got first! Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Who else is here? Let me just catch up really quick because I got caught off guard. Butterbird's already lurking. Zoe Mel, as usual. Hi, how you doing? Amelia's here. Um, boop, 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 boop. Something weird. Oh, Zoe got outside and touched grass. Nice. Good job. Good job. Um... Oh, Queenette, how you doing? You redeemed some water already. All right, let's do it. I'm going to get some water. How you doing, Queenette? Good to see you. Um, who else? Who else? I'm a little bit I'm a little bit stressed about this nonsense. Well, stream elements works, but does little hoser. Thank you for every stream I've been able to catch. It's joy being here. Oh, Queenette, <laughs> you're quite welcome. Thank you for being here. Ooh, the water. It's a fresh and bubbly water. Is it very fresh? Is it very fresh? You oink? Can you see the bubbles? You can't. You can't. It's so sad. Wait, let's see if I go in this light like this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You can see them. See the like little dots. They're, they look like dark dots, but those are bubbles. Those are bubbles. <laughs> the alerts don't work. Oh, hang on, hang on. Yeah, okay, so. So I've been installing some things. I've been working on things and um, well, some of them clearly are not working. Let's see if we nuke streamer bot and we'll start this streamer bot back up. Oh. Hi. <laughs> I'm doing fantastic by the way. How are you all doing? It's having such a great day, and then, for reasons unknown... Alright, alright, that seems to be working, that's working. That's my calculator, it's not what I wanted, but it works. Let's go to the actions, let's go, uh, let's do a, uh... Let's do a bonk! Bonk. Did you hear it? Because I heard it. You're doing pretty good today. Super tired but happy. Glad you're well. Excellent. I am very well today. A super good. Bonk has bonked. Well, I mean, some things are working. But bing bang boom. All right. <gasps> you didn't. You didn't hear what? You didn't hear it? Here's the water you asked me to drink, by the way. Oh. <sighs> well, I wonder. Well, I wonder. You didn't hear it. All right, we're gonna do one more for you. We're gonna do a, uh, hang on. Everybody, everybody focus. Everybody focus. Oh, baby. Did you hear that? Certainly hope so. No? Maybe. Maybe not. No boing. Oh, wait. Are you doing the sounds and they're not working? Okay. I, then that's probably not going to be fun for today. Because I... Mm, I can make them work. Heard though, baby, but not the redemptions. So the redemptions aren't firing because what? What would be bonked there? Ooh, you're a bad computer. Why? For why you do this to me? 
why I'm so nice to you all the time I treat you so lovely and then you do this why <laughs> um hmm. I'm gonna keep looking let's just chat for a little bit it doesn't really change what we're normally doing anyway right let's chat I'm gonna try and see stream apps view action cues are cleared my Things are going good there. Monk, how you doing? The, the sounds don't work, Emilia. Don't don't use them. Don't use them. Don't use them. How you doing, Monk? Good to see you. I'm having uh, technical issues. Um. Oh, there we go. That would be one of the issues. The. May I type? I cannot type. Connect to Twitch. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. ooh. <laughs> um. Sit up straight, you hoser. Da! Da who wants to do one? Who's got lots of points? Mel, you've got lots of points. Do something. You made a car horn when you entered. Ah! I see it. I didn't hear it. Oh, madre mía, ¿por qué me está casado la cabeza? Mira, te voy a matar. Oh, you heard it. Oh, Mel's got all the points. Mel does have a lot of points. Okay, now wait a second. Yeehaw. Oh, okay, that one I heard. Oh, yes. Woo! We're doing it. We're doing it. All right, all right. Problem number one solved. Monk. You did a car horn when you entered. Hmm. The car screech? The big loud car screech? Or the ahuga that you typed? Oh, I see what you're doing. I see. Okay, that's what you meant. That you typed ahuga. Okay, so first problem. StreamerBot had disconnected my broadcaster account, but not the little hoser. Weird. Weird. Okay, points are back online. Audio is going through. Can I get onto Minecraft? Shall we run a prediction? <laughs> Come on, I'm sure it'll work. I'm sure it'll work. I am 100% not certain it will work. Click. Whoa. Whoa. This is looking good. Maybe? Wow! Yes, sir! Man, I'm killing it today. So good at life. <laughs> what a start. What a start. How y'all doing? How's everybody? Now that that's all over, look at all the chickens. Yeah, I came in here to fix the chicken cooker because everybody on Pleasant Ground. Oh, there's a lot of people. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah, shush. You shush all of you. <laughs> well, okay. Um, yeah, so I came in uh, the other day to fix it because people were saying like, there's not enough chicken in the, in the thing. They're running low. Oh, they're, they're right up there. There's a Viking pilot running around. Um, and so I came in here and I stopped and I added, I built up the chicken cooker. I don't know if any of you remember when I first built this thing. How did I just, what is going on? Ha, what? Minecraft, Minecraft. Minecraft, stop it. You're drunk. Minecraft, stop. stop. You're not getting a lot done down there, bud. I, I'm not getting anything done. I'm stuck in a hopper. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> well, I guess I'll leave you and your chicken cooker some alone time then. I, yeah, thank you. I, I, I hope to have this sorted real soon. But hello. How yeah. are you also? Good, good to see you. All right. How are you? I'm super duper. Apart from this, you know, I'm not, issue I'm not I'm trying having. to steal anyone's business, but uh, if you need any gunpowder, just uh, let me know. Oh, if you have you got it, I can't eat. Where are you? There you go. I love you. Okay, there you go. You get you've got a shop now, gunpowder. Yeah, I don't have a shop, but I have a farm. Oh, you <laughs> you're not even building a shop. You're just like, yeah, whatever. A little bit on the side here. Come over. A little bit on the hey, side. No, no, I'm waiting for up. King. I'm actually, I'm waiting for King Elfie to finish building his uh, little, he's got an idea to build like a mini shopping thing right next to his base. 
Okay. He's like, if you have, if you have like a single item you want to do like a mini stall for, I'm gonna take his first stall and sell. Just, I'll put it in a dark alley down around the corner. Right, you know, right. you gotta know the password to get in, and it's gonna be some good deals on gunpowder. You know. Right, right. Well, I'll keep an eye out for her. Hey, buddy, do you want to buy some gunpowder? One of those. Hey, hey buddy, you want to buy any gunpowder? I like it. Gun I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll catch you well, later. Bye, have fun with your, uh, well, whatever you're doing. Uh, yeah, I'll be, I'll be out soon. <laughs> okay, so, okay. yes, uh, to let, to let you all know what was happening, uh, there, the, the Pleasants were eating all of the chicken, and so they're like, oh, hey, we're running kind of low on chicken, if anybody, and I was like, oh, okay, well, listen, I'd been throttling the production to make sure that it wasn't too much. We only had two cells full of chickens before, so I came in, extended it over here, I added a whole bunch of chickens about... I want to say 12, hmm, maybe. And then, uh, yeah, we, I think we're okay now. I hope. Uh, people were saying that, yeah, production is back up. Production is back up and running. Noise, noise, noise. So, um, yes, Monk, I realize your joke. Hey, I skip right over. Yee Say ha. What? Hey, sleeping Kalenda. Thanks for the follow. How you doing? Do you like my chicken cooker? It's amazing. <laughs> Same thing as when you're watching a kids TV show, little ones, there's a joke for the parents watching there. Yeah, that's what we, we PG-13, sort of like, um, like, um, not, well, the Muppets used to do it as well, but I was thinking Warner Brothers, like Bugs Money. Huh? Big Hosers, Pleasant Poultry Roaster. Free food for everybody. And I had to increase the production because uh, we've got some uh, hungry people. So, um, yes, lovely. Today, two projects we might get into. We're gonna see. Definitely need to do some redstone work on two different things. I spent some time in the creative world trying to figure out how I could rework the rail system. Because for those who maybe were here uh, the last time I streamed this section, we were working on how we were going to get the selector rail to work. Redstone has changed since the time that I designed the switch for this system. Ah, it doesn't do the same things that it used to, and that is a big old problem, because when we were starting the server... <laughs> I told all the Pleasants, they're like, oh yeah, we can do a rail system, we can have boats, we can do this. I was like, oh, I've got a great like eight, eight track rail switching system that I've built on other servers. Uh, Monk was there for it, it was great. Uh, works lovely, uh, you know, uh, I could build it if you want. And they were like, oh, cool, sure, do it. And I was like, cool. And then as soon as we get the build done, I'll, I'll do it. Then we got the build done and I came in here and I built it and it didn't work. I was like, oh, wait a second, what? <laughs> I went and I did some research. Turns out uh, the update is such that the redstone goes up the side of the block, causes that block to be powered, causes everything to break. So I was like, oh, no, that is no bueno. I told everybody on the server I could do this. Ah! <laughs> anyway, so I spent some time to figure it out. I think I've got it. We'll have to see. SpongeBob has some of that. Yes, the multi-layered uh, um, comedic jokes. But you gotta have something for the parents that you know to do while they're sitting there. It was a cartoon on Nickelodeon in the 90s. No, I'm, I would never watch that in the 90s. I wasn't watching cartoons. Too old. <sighs> have I checked my store since I'm there? Oh, that's a really good idea. Let's just pick up this stuff here real quick, and then yeah, we'll go look at my store to see if uh, we've made any sales. Yup, yup. Uh, hello. I have a lot of random stuff on me. Hmm. It happens to me a lot. Uh, Butterbear has a question. Hey, Hoser. Um, studies have shown that after watching SpongeBob gives your dumber. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, what is the story about bananas? You told me to ask one on stream. Oh, yeah. Yes. Let's, well... Yeah, that's. We'll wait for a little bit for uh, for that story. <laughs> yeah. Good memory, Butterbear. Good memory. Good memory, and thank you for remembering. Zero sales. Nice. 
Hmm. Oh. Oh wow. Lots of sales. Did you know? Did you know? How did you know this was here? How? No. How? How? That's a lot. Rich. I'm rich. Did all the diamonds. So many diamonds. Just diamonds everywhere. I should. I don't want to pick these up. I don't want to lose them. Don't lose your diamonds, dummy. Woohoo! I haven't checked in a while. That's true. That is true. Okay, we're gonna have to put more. Oh my goodness! Wow! Wow! I didn't think this shop was doing anything. Forty-four diamonds in. Wow! Very nice. Very nice. Super duper. Uh, you take out the blocks, replace them with target blocks, they should work again. We tested that, Monk. No, it did not work. We tested all kinds of stuff at the end of the stream last time. We're working on glass, we used slabs, maybe it would be the stairs if you had an upside down stair so that it wouldn't climb up, but it couldn't climb down. All kinds of different redstone things. It was a broken, but I do believe I found a really simple solution. You just spread it out by one block and then you still should be able to count a uh, 15 redstone source that way. And then, uh, anyway, it should work. Not 100% sure, but it should, it should. <laughs> he said with not much conviction, but I'm gonna have to see because we definitely need to, we definitely need to have that figured out. Definitely, 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 definitely. Also, uh, now that we have all these diamonds, yo, hang on, yo. We could go, we could go shop. Cause look, 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 look over here. <gasps> New things. This is a container house that was built and they took out the side and they put in a big old porch deck patio thing. Mm, what do you want to call this? You can call it whatever you want. What is this? Like a patio? But look, huh? Nice. So we've got some more people who've been building their crate homes on top. Ooh, why did that get so chunky all of a sudden? Oh, what's all this? One diamond each, just diamonds. One, one diamond. Oh, soul sand. One diamond for three stacks. I'll probably buy some of that later. Um, but there should be, yeah, over here, a sunroom. I, I like it, a sunroom. They converted their basically oh look at the job they did on the stairs wrapping it around nicely done i think this is king elfie oh so pretty there's gonna be like i guess a fountain here or something so this is where remember where the kyle's original build was this thing here right and then i picked up from about here kyle had done like these stairs and then I changed the wall here a bit so it would merge better and then took over from about here and I built this way and made this bridge going across and then started to do the frame for the whole rail building, set down the footprint, did the floor, and then me and Milkman came in and, and finished the walls and the roof, good times. And then King Elfie, he's on, picked it up from here because we were talking about, oh yeah, we go down that way. Look at this. The Shulker. Oh. oh, so exciting. And it goes all the way back down into the shopping district down here, which means that we could probably tuck like a little funny shop or something underneath there, maybe something under there. But yes, we are going to go check out the prices over here. What's it going on? One time offer. There's a shulker of shells available for sale. This will make 864 shulker boxes, which would cost 64 diamond block retail cost. Whoa, special price, 25 diamond blocks. Wait, welcome. Okay, that, that, uh, wait a second. That, that, was, that was too much, hang on. Whoa. I don't have 25 diamond blocks, do I? I don't know how many. Do I? No, I have 12. Mm. Oh, that causes me pain. This is very painful. I would want this. Me likey. Me like you very much. Can I just hug you? Can I just stand beside you? I'll take a selfie with you. Whoa. 
<laughs> Why is this camera angle not working today? Hello? <laughs> can I please, can I do a selfie with it? Thank you. I just want to have one selfie with it. Boop. Okay. I took a screenshot. I feel good. Hex, how you doing? I'm not poor. I've got lots. Just not enough for that. Boo. Also, stop laughing at me in my financial troubles. This would be, I guess, where you pay things. Let's read the book. Okay. This is new. This is new. Welcome to the Shulking Heap. Um, one shulker, one diamond. Three shulkers, two diamonds. We're definitely doing that. Special requests available. Place all payments in the barrel below. And then this is the special one. Man. Man. 864 shulker boxes at once. We'd be done. Boo. Special price, 25 diamond blocks. I don't has 25. Can I take half for 20, for 12? Mmm, <laughs> I feel like that's not an acceptable thing to do. Mmm, my goodness, what's all over here? Oh, just some, oh, I see what's going on. Wait, didn't it say place the, place the payments, place all payments in the barrel below? Oh, I thought it meant this barrel. But the mean, well, yeah, that's the payment one. What are people doing? Can't you read instructions? People can't read instructions. I had a good day. Does that mean you were able to rest? I was able to rest. I was. I actually slept. That was pretty nice. I'll be honest. I slept. Which has not been the case much lately. Yeah, Minecrafters can't read. This is 100%. Oh, I, I didn't mean to take it. I did take it. I didn't mean to. Oops. That was an accident. Um, yeah, they, this is very much where the barrels... The di Here, you know what we're going to do? Everybody can see me doing this. Nine diamonds. I'm not stealing. I'm not stealing. I'm going... Broop. Look, those should have been in here, everybody. I fixed it. I fixed it. I made it all better. But... How much was the price again? Three shulkers for two diamonds. If I take nine, that's six diamonds. Man, I really want to buy this thing. <laughs> You're clipping and sending it in the Discord. Oh, to the Pleasants? Put it in the, in the Pleasant Discord. Proof that I did the thing. I did a good thing. So yeah, um, I think we're definitely at the very least gonna we're gonna we're gonna have to buy we're gonna have to buy nine nine shulkers three is two so nine would be six yes we're with me with the math yes yeah it is time to mine for diamonds do you think I could get I mean, do I change the stream title and we just go mining for diamonds to see if I can get to the... I feel like I wouldn't do it in time. I feel like I wouldn't do it fast enough. Hmm. Or do I just spend six right now? Because I just made 44 from my iron shop, which is pretty decent considering I didn't know I was going to make any. I could just buy the nine right now, put them into my, yeah, redstone or mining. I mean, I always do mining. I always do big dig sessions and everything. I need to fix this redstone. The other thing is I was showing you the rail redstone that I need to work on in the building, but I also need to do the barter shop redstone. Remember? I've got some things to do. I think I need to get back to the barter shop, uh, the barter farm. Caving? That's different. <laughs> Stop it, Mel. Stop it. Okay, we're gonna go. Uh, we're doing it. Also, oh, there is one over there. I was gonna call him out for not having the ender chest, but yeah, he does. He's he's awesome. He's awesome. Butterbear, thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it. So, um, I just took nine. Boom, boom. Wait. Why does that look like... Oh, because I already had one in there. Yeah, I already had this one in there. Okay, good. So these are the nine that I took. Confirming, confirming. Only nine are gone. 
placing payments in the proper barrel because I can read? I's a good reader? I pays attention? Good job, Hoser. Good job. You're so good at this game. The other person overpaid. No, it just means that maybe some, like, because there's different prices, so maybe somebody took one for one diamond and somebody took three for two and, you know, like, math. Hey, Rainbow. Good to see you. Been a while. How are you? Um, yeah, Mel, it's probably, I think it's probably, we're very, like, honorable here. We're, we're called Pleasant Craft because we're pleasant people. Did I hear the news about 1.2? I think Hex posted it in the Discord. Hey, Lizard, uh, are you talking about the um, archaeology? Mm. Is that what they announced? Right? Yes. Haha, -ha, I did. Well, Hex did. And then posted it, and then I did. But yes, that's cool. It's going to be neat. It's going to be neat. It was kind of like, because they had the whole, um, the whole, uh, all those bones and everything, like in the nether, all of the skeletons, and the, it kind of like it was building up. That that had to be coming soon at some point, but it is going to be very cool. I wonder what they're going to do, though. How do you think that they're going to change the game with that? Like, how do you think archaeology is going to change a Minecraft for you, perhaps? A uh, boops and a boop and a boop. Okay, well, listen. Now that I've got them, you are going to be dirt. Uh, dirt. Hope you got some proper, well-needed rest hoser. I did indeed. I did indeed. I actually slept. It was great. Happy Friday to you too, Lizard. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. Um, it was announced in one for 1.17. It got pushed back to an unspecified date when Caves and Cliffs got split into two updates. So it's been a long time coming. But what does it do? I will remind you, I am a hoser and I don't know anything. <laughs> I'm always confused. It does the stuff. It does stuff. Totally does all the stuff. Currently on the elliptical at the gym. <laughs> nice. Dude, that's fantastic. What a great place to just be hanging out. Chat, chat, chat. Get your workout on. Good on you. Good on you, Lizard. I have done the 30 push-ups today and the 12 pull-ups. I upped it. I don't know if anybody's been keeping track of that with me, but I started... Um, I started on, I think, January 16th or something, and I basically, with one of my brothers, was like, man, we really need some motivation to get back in shape, to, like, work out. Like, come on, let's just do, because we used to do this push-up challenge with my father um, and my uncle and my brothers, all of us, and it was this big thing. We did 100 push-ups a day. We would, like, challenge each other. We had this big, massive spreadsheet this big Excel sheet. Everybody was tracking everything, like how many we had done, how many you fell behind, how many you had to do to catch up, and blah, 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 blah. And it was, it was a lot, but 100 a day was, it was too much. And so by January 16th, my brother and I were trying, we're like, yeah, maybe we could try to, come on, let's go again, but let's, can we do maybe 10 a day? <laughs> like, yeah, 10, 10's great, perfect. We're doing 10 a day is what I started on January 16th. And then I got to a point where I was doing two sets of 10, and then I was doing, then I wanted to do three sets of 10, but instead I said, you know what? Try to do two sets of 15. So now I went to 30. Uh, you just re-upped with the help of Lady Lizard. We were in such great shape before COVID hit, then gained it all back. Oh, you had lost 40 pounds. You're gonna burn it. You're gonna do it. Muscle memory is gonna kick in. You stay on top of this with Lady Lizard. You're gonna, you're gonna kill it for sure. For sure. It does this stuff. Rainbow, I love how vague you are. Screenshots they shared look so much more Minecrafty than what was shown for the 1.17 version. Mm, Rainbow, are you still in the Discord? I'm pretty sure you still are. Do you want to post a whole bunch of pictures in Minecrafty stuff? Like, don't make it, you know, like barfing everything that they have. But yeah, if you want to post a couple pictures, that because we're all very excited about it too. But yeah. I'm curious to see what they're going to do. 
I hope my body doesn't try to be like, hey, you just can't still do what you used to and just hate myself the next day. No, 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 don't worry about it. Focus in on the positive, focus in on the positive. You are doing it. You are gonna get stronger. Don't try to do everything at once. Do a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. Like I've been trying to do with my brother. Started with 10. Now when all of a sudden I was like, instead of going three sets of 10, I'll do two sets of 15. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna throw in some pull-ups. I'm gonna do five pull-ups a day. So then it was 30 push-ups and five pull-ups. And then after a while, I was like, you know what? I'll do six pull-ups a day, 30 and six. And then at some point I was like, I could do two sets of six. So now I'm doing 30 push-ups, 12 pull-ups. Now I'm at a point where I've already done my 30 and 12 for today. So tonight I'm probably gonna do another 15. I'm gonna 45 and 12, just small little steps. Used to spend three hours a day at the gym. Whoa. If we looked at you now, oh, what? Now, don't worry about it. You'll get it back. You'll get back there. But just remember to be gentle and progressive. I am not a doctor. Not a doctor. Not a doctor. But common says, common sense says, if you hurt yourself, then you're going to stop going to the gym for like three to six weeks while you heal and you're going to lose all that progress. So don't push too hard, too fast. Make sure you give yourself a gentle ramp up. Gentle ramp up. Pop those peas. All right. This is just random blocks. Love it. Then we're going to have one that's just random junk. We're going to have a junk drawer. So random block, random block, random block. Then we're going to have one. Oh, I never, I never put back the wool. <gasps> oh, I totally stole some wool from the shop. Oh no. Oh no, there's the blue. Oh, oh no. <laughs> hey, Zandingo, how you doing, man? Oh, I just realized that I stole, I stole from the, oh no. <laughs> I'm not a thief. I'm not, it was accidental. I did not mean to. Oh, uh, I feel bad. <laughs> I, I was, okay, I was streaming. We, you were all here. Well, maybe not all of you, but many of you were here and I was streaming and I said, I'm just gonna borrow this to show you what the, you know, what we're gonna do. And I completely <laughs> forgot to return it, but it was originally a stack of blue and a stack of yellow. And that's not a stack of either. So I've lost some on top of it. Not good. Ah, oh. I'm not a thief, Zen. I'm not. I'm not. I may have borrowed really poorly. In inefficient borrower. Hmm? Maybe. Anyway, let's let's ignore that. Let's everybody. How you doing? How's everybody? How was your week? I'm sorry I wasn't here on Wednesday, uh, but I'm feeling much better now. Thanks for asking. <laughs> I'm gonna go find all of that. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm gonna. I'll fix it. I will fix it. Don't judge me. <laughs> You're not my real dad. <laughs> um, anyway, so apart from that, <laughs> you're yanking my chain. I'm sure you are. I'm not terribly worried. I'm I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna find it somewhere because the other pleasants will have seen it and they'll be like, hey, what's all this wool doing here? Or maybe not. I don't know. I'll find it. I'll find it. Don't worry. Or I'll replace it. Zan, oh Zan, while you're here, can you tell me what the name of that map thing is? I asked you if I could use the idea. Oh, okay, everybody. Zan, first of all, you all know we go see Zan when he, he's amazing builder and all like crazy, crazy stuff, right? Uh, incarnate, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Zan, if you haven't seen the map thing that he's done, right? Where he's taken his area and all the different, like the Mount Zan, uh, Zan oh geez, man. I can't remember the name of the town. They're all Star Wars names with Zan kind of in there, but he's got his, the, the one that's Pompeii. What's the name of the Pompeii mountain? The volcano. Yes, the volcano man. Exactly. That, we know who we are. That whole thing, Zandor. Andor with Zan. How could I, how could I not? <laughs> anyway, uh, um, it's got that map that he's done where he's taking the entire thing with all the bills that he's got, the battle scene that he's working on right now with all the big spikes and the boats and everything, the cracking that's gonna be happening. Then he's got this incarnate map thing 
basically makes it like this old school sort of Dungeons and Dragons sepia tone map. Something you'd see in Dungeons and Dragons or like like um, like the Hobbit, you know, Lord of the Rings type of thing, you know. Really, really cool idea. And I loved it. I was like, oh, oh, can I please steal your ideas, please? <laughs> I will give you credit every time I show it. I'll be like, this was Sam. He did it. He's awesome. Go see him. But la la la. So yeah, this is the server we're going to be doing that on. The Pleasant Craft server. So that we can have Hoser's Harbor tied up to the mountain castle, tied over to King Elfie's Mountain, tied over to the, the uh, steampunk area with Milkman. We're going to try and get all of that done on an incarnate map. It's going to be bellissimo. Mwah. And thank you again, Zan, for, uh, for being so gracious and saying yes to my random weird request. You are a champion. Um, yeah. Okay, let's fix our mistakes here. First, we're going to clean this up. And then we're going to go... We're going to do right by people. We're going to go fix our mistakes. And... Basically, I got to find the missing wool. That's all. We just have to find some wool. It's 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 like not even I'm not even worried, not worried at all. Random block. You are a random block. Uh, filter blocks and chiseled stone bricks. Yeah, I guess you could all live in there. Use the parchment map one. Just follow the tutorial on their YouTube to learn how to make it and get the right method on how to make it. It's super easy. No worries. Oh, man. Look at that with instructions. You are a champion. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Yeah. We definitely have our work cut out for us. Because I don't know if you've noticed, but some of the Pleasants, they build fast. Holy cow. They're not messing around. I've been here like three weeks, two weeks, one week. Built up an entire area of their base. They're like, oh, by the way, look what I did. Kapow! Shops. Classy speed home. How's it going? Thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Solomon, how you doing? There's a free version adding that to my D&D bookmarks. Yes, you got to go check it out. If you haven't seen it when Zan shows it, it's beautiful. It really is cool. Because it's like you can take the overview of the Minecraft land and everything. And then, well, he's got it set up where he knows where to have it framed just right. And then he does the cut and it shows the map on top. And it's like, ah, perfect. But yeah. Hey, VR, how you doing? Had some things to do. How's everyone? How am I feeling? I'm feeling fantastic. I actually managed to sleep. You're doing good, doing good. Excellent. Good to see you, VR. No need to apologize. I appreciate that you're here in the first place. You seem a little hyper, not a critique, just making sure the levels are on point. Let's do a shaking hand test. That's pretty stable to me. Shabada boot. I did check before stream. I was actually at 7.2 and I am going to put that in. Lizard, thank you. Looks good to you. This is how I can tell if my blood sugar is a bit low, by the way, for those who are like, what's he doing? Uh, people in chat are like, Hoser, your blood sugar? And I have to do this and make sure that my hand is stable. Sometimes I'm like, oh, ha, you're right. I should definitely go do something about this. <laughs> Now it's awesome. Thank you for the yeehaw. Let's go. But yeah, I'm going to be putting in a channel point redemption very much like the uh, posture check because I appreciate that people are concerned. It's good for my health to be aware of it and everything. Um, it's going to be cheap so you can do it without you know spending tons of points. But it's going to be timed. Like I don't want to sit up straight, be, you hoser. Like, like this. Yes, thank you. You're not my real dad. Yeehaw. Leave me alone. Stop. You're not the boss of me. But basically, I'm going to be doing that with the handshake thing. Time for a handshake, probably is what I'm going to call it. And then I'm going to have to do that. Four, 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 oh, four, stop four, with four, all the buttons. Four, 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 stop four, four, it. Four. I'm trying to talk about something. You are such trolls. Leave me alone. So thank you for the water. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to have that cheap enough so people can do it without wasting points, like not feeling like it's expensive. But I also want to have it timed. Right? I don't want to be checking that every five minutes because my blood sugar is not going to change in five minutes it'll be like every hour maybe something like that so maybe two or three times per stream you could check on it i think that's probably what it'll be thank you for the water though i do appreciate it rainbow all of you i'm moving away from my keyboard for those who don't know why i do that because they like to make me drink water and then scare me with a big jump scare noise and i spit water all over my keyboard that's not good 
Mention the channel point redeems. Expect to get all the channel. Yes, it's true. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Ah, see? Oh, foul. Timing was way off. <laughs> way off. Boo. No. No. No bueno. No, not impressed. Feel bad because I don't know. Uh, don't want you to feel self conscious, but since I know it's a sign. Oh, Mel, don't feel bad at all. If you think that there's any chance that maybe I'm a little bit low blood sugar, do it. Do it. It's not a problem. It means you care, and I, I appreciate that. I'm totally okay. If I do seem a little bit bouncy, it's because I did get some sleep. I slept well. I'm going to tell you a story. Um, I woke up this morning for the first time to my alarm. I set up a new alarm on the phone, right? Haven't heard like, okay, so I'm in bed. I'm in bed, first time ever. And all of a sudden I just hear like a cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. I'm like, what the heck is that? I'm like, I'm trying to sleep. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. I'm like, what the? What's going on? And then I realized, oh, that's the alarm that I made. That's the sound I chose, the cuckoo clock. <laughs> but I'd never heard it before, so I didn't know. I had no idea that it was my own alarm that was waking me up. And I was like, I was getting angry. I was like, who's, it's 2023. Who uses cuckoo clocks? Come on. <laughs> so I'm sitting there in bed going, cuckoo, cuckoo, what is that? I was losing my mind until I finally like, oh, that's my alarm. What the heck? Boop. And I was like, oh, I slept all the way to the actual alarm to wake me up. That's so cool. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah. so I have a cuckoo clock alarm. <laughs> I had no idea. I had no idea. I'd never even heard it before. Oh, anyway, um, <laughs> Emilia, it's probably already gone. Thank you for the lurk. Oh, uh, you were reading message about the channel point redemptions when a foghorn dude, something else job to make you spill the water. Okay. You were just delayed. We want you to strum for eternity. That's why strum stream strum. Gotcha. Gotcha. I did sleep well. Yay. Celebration time. <laughs> Hi, Peanut. How you doing? Good to see you. It is a good sound. I really enjoyed it. And man, did I laugh. I laughed for so long because I was so annoyed. I was so annoyed. I was like, who's got a cuckoo clock? <laughs> oh, I'm such a dork. Anyway, it was great. I really <laughs> enjoyed my morning. And that's the thing. I've been laughing since this morning because of that. And I've been having like just a really great day. <laughs> and it's just a stupid alarm. Oh. Zed, how you doing? You slept for almost 12 hours Wednesday night until your alarm. After a long drive back home. Good, good. You did that before. You set the alarm to an old telephone, sat in bed like, huh? Why am I dreaming? Exactly. I was so confused. <laughs> I was so confused. Thal, thank you for hanging out and lurking. We'll see you when you're back from the errands. Anyway, um, yeah. So I, uh... <laughs> I'm a dork. I'm such a dork. It was fun though. I mean, I, I laughed a lot. It's been a good day. It's been a great day. How's your day been, everybody? Tell me a little bit about your day. Huh? Currently preparing a surprise for Valentine's. Ooh, wait, a surprise for who for Valentine's? For your special somebody. Are you preparing special things for your special somebody? Okay, we have to fix this wool problem. Let's go see if we can fix the wool problem. Also, uh, King Elfie, thank you very much. Fantastic job. I love that you did this. You are a wonderful human being. Uh, whoa, hey, although you might want to spawn proof your area. <laughs> come here, you. Where'd he come from? Probably up there somewhere. <laughs> um... You're having such a romantic Valentine's Day, having a job interview. Oh, that's, ooh, can you feel the romance there? That's, uh, I don't know whether I should be impressed or sad. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. <laughs> but also congratulations, I guess. I suppose congratulations are in order. Day was meh, happy it's done. Okay. Why was it meh? Also, what's going on here? Hmm. 
what is this? Okay. The wool is not down here. Uh, you're getting your partner matching rings, roses, and a cheesy letter. Oh, super sweet. I should have an aw button. Aw, one of those. We could put some hoser hearts. Wait, I could do that. Where's the, where's that thing? Hang on, hang on. Mm, these. There, I'll do all these for you. Yay. Aw. New job, love, lol, applied to Lazy Lizard's company for a work from home gig. Ooh, wow, that'll be a fantastic Valentine's gift. You get that job, and then you can work from home, be more with your lady lizard, good times. You're also thinking, how do I get their ring size without them knowing? So I'm um, eyeballing the size. Yeah, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. I don't really know how you would do that. Hmm. Ariel Mack, how you doing? Well, hello to you too. <laughs> A long time no see. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Look, I found it. I found it. Found. I told you. I told you. I told you. I'm not. Also, this is mine. <laughs> I'm just leaving things everywhere. Nice cup. Thank you very much. I made it. I sort of made it myself. It's partially chroma key because I painted that part green, and then this part not green, and this part green. Did not realize it until I got on stream and people were like, your your coffee mug is transparent. I was like, you're not wrong. <laughs> um, but in reality, also heading down to Pike's Market in Seattle to grab some fresh seafood and produce to make some uh, and produce to make some dinner by our making our own fancy dinner. Lizard, that sounds like a wonderful day. Wonderful day. Save some money. I don't know what happened with that link. Oh yeah, if you put something too close to the uh, like dinner period and then you put some words, it considers it like you're trying to make a, an internet link and it just blocks it. We've even tried to do the permit thing where we let people post links and it still somehow blocks it. I, I don't know. I don't know what's blocking it. I, it's not very pro sometimes. Boop, boop, boop. Green is the best color. It is a very good color. How's it going, Ariel? We spoke on the phone yesterday. Ariel is the one who has my dog, Silly. Remember all the times I've told you about my friend who, was graciously who graciously took in my dog, Silly, and was fostering her for a while, and then eventually called me up and said, hello, I feel like I might be in love with your dog, and I feel like maybe she's my dog now. And I was like, I don't have anywhere to put my dog, so mm, yeah, my dog is now your dog. That's Ariel. That's her. Boop, boop, Silly's mom. The one who has the chihuahua. So I have a great, my old, well, her great Dane, my old dog, Silly, her great Dane now, with her chihuahua. And they walk down the street together. I think it's amazing. I still feel like we should make a saddle for Silly with like a box on it on top. And then we could put the Chihuahua in the box on the Great Dane and you could walk down the street. I really, really feel strongly about this. We need to make it happen. It's not the big hoser's mother. No, <laughs> no, it's Silly's mother. Wait, is my mother here as well? Why is everybody here tonight? What's going on? Um, you're gonna steal oh, Ellie says steal a ring that they own true that's a good idea that's a thing I haven't seen them with rings peanut just just pretend you're giving them a hand massage and just like really really kind of get a feel for it kind of get like mmm okay all right all right and then go to the kitchen really fast and grab all the carrots that you have and be like <laughs> feels like that one and then put that carrot somewhere it's a precious carrot that'll be how you do it that's the trick uh, keep the receipt, maybe do an innocent comparing fans like whose hands are bigger compare size difference. There you go. That's another one. Do trust a friend who's helping with the ring. She said they're probably the same size and if not, she'll give me a refund. Yeah, Peanut, most of the times they will do that. My mother used to work in jewelry and they will do that. If you needed to get it resized, they can actually straight, shake. Yowzer. Oh my jeebus, that's somebody in real life. Where are you? <laughs> Where are you? That's somebody in real life. I was like, that's not, there he is. <laughs> Kyle. How you doing, Kyle? I'm good, buddy. Oh. How are you? I'm fantastic. Good to see you. I was you. trying to figure out, is he AFK or is he just talking to chat? I'm just, I was just talking to people. We're, <laughs> we're talking about uh, somebody in chat needs to try and find, uh, they want to get a ring for their partner, but they're trying to figure out a sneaky way to like do it. So I was oh. suggesting they should like give them a, a hand massage and really focus on the fingers and the knuckles and like get a, get a good feel for it. And then <laughs> go to the kitchen really fast, grab some carrots and like, 
then like try to remember and then whichever carrot is the closest that that's a precious carrot take it and put it somewhere <laughs> and then you know like you would know sort of but anyway we're all giving ideas on how we're yeah. going to do that hi how, how are you that that's hysterical I'm it's good. a good idea though I'm right good. that's really I, funny i think it's a good idea I just, i'm just imagining them walking into a store with a carrot excuse me <laughs> Yes. Could you tell me what size this is? Right. I need a point? ring for this carrot, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Funny. That's good. Okay. Well, good Look, luck. Every... Good luck, ring buyer. In your Thank search. you very much. Well, that's uh, that's peanut. 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 Oh, you... peanut. Okay. Peanut. Cool. You know peanut. I know peanut. Desmond is the Chihuahua, by the way. That we're talking about Desmond, my my uh, the 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 lovely friend who fostered my dog Silly. Uh -huh. She's here. She's in chat. And um, Silly is a great Dane. And Ooh. Ariel McSween, the friend who uh, basically fostered Silly and then now is the owner of Silly, uh -huh. had a Chihuahua before that. So she's a Chihuahua and a great Dane. <laughs> <laughs> I love great Danes. I'm, she's so uh, beautiful. Less fond of Chihuahuas. Oh, no, don't say it. No, Ariel heard you. Don't. Desmond's wonderful. Oh, Desmond's oh, sorry. wonderful. Oh, sorry. It's evil. Let's shoot him. Get out ones. of here, you two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how the heck did I hit you? What? what kind of witchcraft is this? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Try and I'm punch so me. powerful. I'm so powerful. <laughs> I was sure I was shooting the window. That's why I did it. I was like, I'll just shoot him. It'll and it'll go ping in your face and be funny. And I, I have hit never you. seen that before. Oh my goodness. That was awesome. Wow. All right. Well, I'll hilarious. let you get back to it, buddy. I'm going to be looking okay. down below if you need me. Right on. Thanks, bud. See you later. See you. Okay, so, um, yeah, I did not mean to shoot him. I have no idea how that even happened. Crazy. Um, okay, if you play the string game with your fingers, if that makes sense, and then strategically use it on the ring for ring figure, act like something briefly interrupted the game. You, there's some ideas. There's some ideas here. Um, ring shoe sizes are very close to each other. Really? Is that a thing, Lizard? When I walk them, I say Desmond is Silly's dad. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I love walking down the street with them. They're hilarious. We've done that before. I've gone over to visit and taken the dogs to the dog parks. Um, it, it, well, for little walks and uh, good times. It's good times. Okay. Have we fixed the problem? One of these, one of these. Lady Lizard says, uh, yes. What the, the shoe, the shoe and ring size. Interesting. Oh, it applies maybe to women or people of feminine stature, perhaps, but I don't know. I don't know, because I'll be honest, these things, these are strategically weirdly long in certain places and odd, and I don't think this would match shoe size at all. Size 11? I don't know. Her fault of I Oh, I was saying before I got uh, crazy interrupted by the crazy man here. Um, my mother used to work in jewelry, so they do it all the time. They can take the ring. If it's a little bit too big, they can shave it and resize it easily. If it's too small, that's a bit of an issue. So try to go a little bit bigger. And most places like Ellie and others have pointed out, perhaps can you can get a, a quick refund. If you tell them like, I want to get this, but eh, they might be able to, to do something. The shoe to ring size conversion is real. I wouldn't, I mean... Ah, follow the advice at your own peril. I, I, I'm not 100% certain. By the way, stack of 64, stack of 64, you can all see this. Asking for a friend never fails. Yeah. Mel says it's not true. Mel says it's not true for her. Yeah, I would watch out with that. Don't, don't just use random. Oh, this works for everybody. That's rarely, that's rarely a thing. There's very few things that work for it everybody <laughs> oh okay um what else do i need to do here before we go clean up we need to find that rails dirt smooth stone this one is our junk drawer ish right junk drawer okay okay we can put that in there because why not we can put this in here because why not put this back over here put this in the vault which seems silly but whatever it's all good and then we put all these away 
in here like a good minecrafter oh then we're gonna go return the wool that i did not steal i long-term borrowed and forgot that i borrowed it but i'm not stealing it we're gonna put it back right now yes sir oh, uh, hello button hello button not the link of the finger, but it does make sense. I do wear eight and a half shoes, and my ring size is the same. Hmm. No, really. Yeah, length. I know. I know they mean this versus length of the foot. I don't know. I would just be wary of doing that. I say the carrot trick is a good trick, but that's just because it's my trick. Blue. Boop. Yellow. I have video proof that I have returned it. No longer in my inventory. Don't you call me a thief. I am not. You. I am forgetful. I am a hoser. These things are true. But a thief? No. Okay. Um, the other project we need to work on. So he's going to be working on the rail there, doing some things. He wants to probably build the stairs and everything. So I think it's probably in our... Well, let's just confirm that that's what Kyle is doing. Let's go confirm what Kyle is doing. Um, Kyle, can I bug you for a second? Can you hear me? Oh, where'd he go? Kyle? Oh, I hear him. There he is. He's over there. Okay. There you are. There you are. Gotcha. <laughs> We're both like, huh, huh, huh? Uh, very quickly. Are just, you working? Just two old guys. Hey? Hey? Okay, can you hey? hear me? Where? Where are you? I don't see you. <laughs> but no, are you, uh, you're working on like the staircase and things in here? Yes, once I decide on a floor level, I think I'm just gonna take it down to this level if that works for you. No, absolutely. Whatever you do to you. fit down, uh, things down here, that's that's you. I, so, I'm, I'm good. But yeah, so I'm gonna work on that and then I'll work on getting the stairs and whatnot in their place. Okay. I would, the only thing I'd say is we like, we might wanna dig this out and have like the, well, no, cause you've already done this part. Never mind. I didn't say anything. This is all good. It can drop down. Um, I mean, it can be extended. It doesn't, that's just, yeah, no, we'll, we'll have to see. It'll all depend. We might have to change a lot of things. Once we start getting all the rails in and I right. start putting all the rails yeah. out, many things may shift. I was well, just going to say, though. Start it, I'd rather start it short and need to extend it than extend yes. it and then be like, oh, no, we need this shorter and then just destroy yeah, all of my hard work. Break everything down. No, you're not You're not wrong. This is good. Um, but what I was going to say is if once you've got the, the, the stairs and everything, that will give me a really much better idea of where I can and cannot put redstone. So Sweet. this is good. What I'm saying, what I'm going to do is go work on the other redstone, the barter shop redstone that I need to work on. Cool. Um, and then at some point I'll come back here and I'll have a better idea of what you're working, like what the stairs are going to look like and everything. Sweet. Okay. Sounds perfect. Good, Confirmed. Thank you very much, sir. Yep. Okay. Right. So we're definitely, we're definitely going to wait for Kyle to get a little bit more of the stairs done there. And then I'll be able to do the redstone. The other project I need to work on, which is also redstone, is the barter shop. Because look, the barter shop exists. Mig built it. It's here. It is real. Um, We need to get the barter thing sorted in the nether so that we can have like lots of stock. Because we are currently nothing. <laughs> Uh, Shiz rings already peanut. Try them on and note where it stops on your finger. Ooh, interesting, interesting. Hmm. What Lady Lizard just researched says divide by two, add 1.5. My goodness, these numbers are all over the place. Try her rings and ask what size is that? My mother had these great tools where it was this, it was uh, basically a super long, um, what's the word in English? A cone, cone? Yeah, cone. And you would drop the ring on it and it would like size it it had like all these gradients and things that could tell you what size it was hey Amelia welcome back but she had all kinds of you know jewelry things and tricks because she worked in jewelry so it's always pretty easy a long metal rod that gets thinner yes exactly sort of that uh this is also my stuff just still kicking around here I have been a little bit messy not gonna lie, this is a little bit of a mess. Yeehaw. Well, hey, 
tinny attacker. Do you mean it to be tinny as in like tin or did or tiny? Either way, how's it going, attacker? Nice to meet you. Thanks for the follow. What? Um, yeah, I suppose. Me. The vault's gonna be a little bit weird for the first little bit. That's okay. We'll sort out the contents later when we have more stuff that we want to actually sort. Right now, I got lots of room. Lots of room. I'm living large. Put anything anywhere. Whatever. Um, they have those a lot of jewelry places for references. Because you can take off the ring that you already have onto that thing, and then it'll tell you where you are. Smart. Smart. If they have any jewelry, but I think that's one of the thing that, things that Peanut was saying, is that they don't really have any jewelry that they can, like, sneak. Get some Play-Doh. If you can find the ring, you just get, like, dollar store Play-Doh. Take the ring and just, like, run away. Whee! Don't let them see you. They'll never know. And you have an impression. And then you can do, like, and be all stealthy. Use donuts? Yes, Butterbear, great idea. Don't listen to Butterbear. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, Butterbear, you're back. Okay, I'm going to tell you the story about bananas. <laughs> this is random. This is random. Okay, listen. Here's the thing. People, I used to be in much better shape. I used to work out a fair bit. Wee, off he goes. Wait, is he coming here? Oh no, he's just going to the portal. Hi. <laughs> Wait, was that? I fell into the hole. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was like, but there I he goes. Where's attack. he going? No, he's coming back here. Oh. So I had to fly out of there. <laughs> okay, back to work. Bye. <laughs> oh, he's a goof. Love him. Anyway, so I used to I used to train quite a bit, like in my early 30s, and I was in good shape. And people always used to ask, like, how you do it? And I'm trying to, as some people know, I'm trying to now. That I've been diagnosed with diabetes this year, like in early January, I made some breakthroughs, and I've been really focused on trying to get back in shape and monitoring my blood sugar and controlling things and being super good about it. Right? Since like early January, I have not eaten anything that I have not made myself. No going out, no ordering in, like just always knowing what I'm having so that I can control it. Now that, well, I've made food at other people's homes, but like I was making it with them kind of like knowing what's going into it. So I'm very aware. But anyway, back in the day, back in the day, <clears throat> when I used to um, train a lot and I was in great shape and I'd be at the gym six days a week and I was doing yoga seven days a week, 45 minute sessions. Like I was just super zen all the time. And people used to ask me, Hoser, how do you do it? What do you what do you do to like, you know, get in shape and be healthy and happy and all that stuff? And I always used to say, listen, don't try to change everything at once. Just start with one banana. Just one banana, right? Because then what's gonna happen is you're gonna eat that one banana. Don't change anything. You have three eggs, bacon, toast, and jam and coffee in the morning. Have all of that plus one banana. <coughs> and then over time, you're gonna go a week, two weeks, three weeks, you're gonna, you know what? I'm gonna have a banana and like maybe an orange. And then eventually you're gonna have the banana, the orange, and you say, you know what? I'm only gonna have like two eggs and two slices of bacon and maybe a yogurt. And like all of a sudden, slowly but surely, you're gonna start to build on these positive habits and you're gonna change more and more positive things about your diet, your exercise, everything. It'll start snowballing. You try to change everything at once, in my personal opinion, and let's remember, I am not a doctor, and not a doctor, and not a doctor. Yeah. Ha. You know, oh, hey, Mythical Beast, thank you for the follow, I appreciate that. Not a doctor, just a random guy on the internet who plays Minecraft and hangs out and chats with you. But I always used to tell people, just progressively, like you'll increase. You're gonna eat the banana, the orange, the yogurt, and say, you know what, I'm gonna do a 15 minute walk today. And all of a sudden, you're gonna build on that. You try to change everything at once, you go three, four days and you'll burn out ah, and you crash and then you go back to your old habits. So my suggestion has always been easy, progressively get to things, you know, know where you're going, aim towards positive and just slowly go there, slowly go towards positive. Well, 
I was the other day, um, <laughs> like, no, not the other day, early January, early January, I basically, um, uh, what was I saying? Uh, early January of the banana, right. I was at the house, I was washing dishes, I was just doing things, and the hand started to shake. A little bit, a little bit, just a little. I was like, ooh, ooh, hang on. That's usually a sign that my blood sugar is dropping a little bit. I'm getting a little hypoglycemic. What so is I this? need four, something. Four, 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 oh. four, yes, four, I need four, water. Four, 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 Clearly four, four, as well, four, four. I need water. Thank you, Ellie. <laughs> Or did 10 followers? Did I maybe not reset the goal? Maybe I didn't reset the stream goal. It's entirely possible. Or maybe we did get 10 followers already. I have not been paying attention. Is that possible? I feel like we didn't get 10. Come on, that's a lot. I think probably what happened is I'm a hoser and I didn't reset the goal. <laughs> this is probably what happened. Come on, let's be honest. Let's be honest. <laughs> but anyway yeah uh -huh. well mr tim's deciding that we're just gonna keep going let's go <laughs> more follows thank you mr tim i appreciate that ellie some water cheers moving away from the keyboard mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. mel oh even the mods especially the mods whatever the numbers is still great it's true all hey, I, I anytime anybody follows that's that's like super good Good times i appreciate it thank you for being here for following and for hanging out so i'm at my house i'm doing dishes i'm like getting things done i'm like i'm gonna make some hummus later and do all these dishes make my own hummus i'm gonna have some blah 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 super yeah you tried fail <laughs> <laughs> sorry that was rude for nothing <laughs> good effort good effort yay <laughs> um doing dishes and and start shaking. Oh, should check my blood sugar. Check the blood sugar. 4.1. That's not terrible. It's a little low, but it's like, you know, I'm heading towards too low. So I'm like, okay, you know what I'm going to do? I had gone grocery shopping. I had bananas. I'm going to have one banana. I'm just going to have one banana. I'll get back to work. I'm going to keep doing things. So for those of you who don't know, Canadian blood sugar numbers, specifically Quebec. I don't know if it's true everywhere else, but in Quebec, you want to be between five and seven millimoles. Five and seven. I'm going to take a moment here to explain this because the context matters. Five and seven, good. Five, seven, good. Five, seven. Below five, towards four, I start getting shaky. Towards three, I start like, my eyes can't really see very well. The brain stops sending signals and the light gets really bright. Towards two, I get like white flashing. And like everything starts going white because the brain can't send signals to process the information from the eyes. Keep going towards one and then the brain all of a sudden cannot send signals to the lungs and the heart and anything and you bleh, you die. So like below four, you start to have trouble getting the food from the table to your mouth. It's a challenge. So you want to make sure you're on top of that, right? 4.1, I'm fine. And I'm like, I have a banana. Remember the banana story from before? Bananas, right. I have a banana, perfect. Keep going, doing some dishes, da -da -da, getting things done. Half hour later, I'm like, Whew, okay, well, feeling a little tired, you know, like I got, that's enough dishes for now. I suppose like uh, I could, you know, I could do more, but that's fine. I did a good job. And I, do I really, I want to make the hummus right now because like that'll just mean more dishes and, and then I uh, make a mess. Maybe I'll just make some coffee and I can go sit down. I can just watch some Picard because I've been watching Star Trek Picard. And then something in my brain went, whoa, 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 Hoser, 30 minutes ago, you were rocking it. You were doing things. You were going to get everything done. You were excited. You were energetic. You were moving. And now all of a sudden you want to sit down, take a break and watch some TV. Whoa, da, 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 da. So I went and I measured my blood. 10.9. Hear me out. Five to seven, good. Four and below, I'm dying. Seven and up, I start going into a coma. But above nine and 10, like I start to bloop, bloop, bloop. As a reminder to those who don't know, when I was diagnosed in January of last year, 2022, I got to the hospital and the machine was pegged. Bing! Plus 33. Over the 33. They, they, they told me, we don't have any machines that can measure 
how bad your blood is. It's how are you walking? How are you even here kind of thing. So plus 33, coma, pretty much. Five to seven, good. One banana, I measured my blood. 10.9 from 4.1 to 10.9, one banana. What the heck? So I basically was like, oh no. So I injected a little insulin, I adjusted. 15 minutes later, I was in the kitchen. I was doing the dishes. I made the hummus. I cleaned the dishes from the hummus and I did some more stuff. I made some rice, I made some beans, I did all kinds of stuff, made food, packed it into containers, put it in the fridge, da -da 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 -da. I did a whole bunch of great stuff. Then I sat down with some freshly cleaned carrots and the hummus that I had just made. And then I watched my Picard for one episode and then I basically got up and did some more stuff. Yeah, half a banana at most. No, you know what I used to say to people is start with a banana. You know what I say now? Screw bananas, get them out of here. Stupid bananas. Bananas are the devil. I don't eat bananas anymore. Bananas are bad. Boo, bananas, boo, boo, no bananas, zero bananas. Forget bananas. I don't like bananas anymore. <laughs> So, okay, so yeah, I don't eat bananas anymore. The carrots I still do eat, but I actually, I found out, yeah, Butterbear remembers that uh, I found out the carrots have 4.7 grams per raw cup of carrots, which is also a lot. But I just, now I know, oh yeah, carrots, if I'm gonna have some carrots, almonds is 6.86 grams per raw cup of almonds. Like I'm learning a lot about all that stuff, but basically paying attention to it is the big difference. Now, anytime, anytime where I start to feel a little bit, ah, you know what? Maybe I could sit down for a little bit. I go, oh, wait a second. Oh boy, voided trip, how you doing? I go, wait a second. That's, that's blood sugar, hang on. And yes, I realize, Ariel, that they give me potassium, but I can get potassium from supplements or other sources that are not gonna affect my glycemic index. I eat my blood sugar. So I would rather get potassium from a different source than the bananas, which are the devil, and they affect my sugar way too much, way too much. I don't wanna have to inject insulin every time I want a banana to get the potassium that I could get somewhere else. You're not wrong though, bananas do. They're good for high blood pressure, good for you. Zed, if they are good for, oh, by the way, I'm not telling you not to eat bananas. I'm just saying I don't. You can eat as many bananas as you want. Go crazy, have all of it. You can have all my bananas. Have them all, they're all yours. Bananas are radioactive. Fruits will do that, yeah, all fruit will do that, but also veg, all kinds of stuff. There's all kinds of things that I'm learning. I'm like, oh, I really thought that, like almonds. I really thought almonds would have been like totally okay. Nope, turns out almonds, 6.86 grams per cup. I mean, it's still fine. Watermelons, yeah, no, watermelon's probably pretty high sugar as well. Basically, I don't eat a lot of fruit anymore. It's all good, it's all good. But yes, bananas, no more. My whole, my whole theory of how do you get in better shape? Start with one banana. I, I need a new thing. I need, well, maybe I'll start with watermelons. Start with watermelons. <laughs> one watermelon. Just start with one watermelon. Every day at breakfast, one watermelon. <laughs> Deep fried water, get out. Zed loves the almonds. Hey, voided shrimp, how you doing? Good to see you again. Um, Deep fried water has no sugar, true true you're not wrong you're also a putz but you're not wrong okay uh for those who don't know what's going on here uh this is the red the gold farm right right and what we've got is underneath we built the barter farm that is going to supply us basically with the items that we need so we've got this lovely redstone contraption that we built. It's awesome, it's beautiful, it's gorgeous. But I found out uh, it doesn't work because of a detector rail that breaks everything. So I need to try and figure out a way to fix this. Start with lemon, uh, no. So we need to rethink this. And I may just be hanging out here chatting with you as I typically do and looking at things while we try to figure out how to get the signal to work. 
because basically I needed the detector rail there in order for the comparator output to power this piston. Without it, this torch is not supposed to, it would, it basically would allow the cart to move, go around, come back. And the cart will just keep going around and around and around until it is empty. And then when it is empty, it triggers this little guy right here, and then comes over, sits up here, gets refilled, right? All thanks to your keen eye, Butterbear. True, you were the one that pointed out that there was a detector rail under there that was, as soon as the cart is on it, the detector rail is powered and the detector rail locks this hopper, which is the one that needs to fill the minecart to go give to the traders, the barter shop traders. Ginger and cinnamon are good for us with diabetes. Nice, hey Utah, how you doing? Cucumber water, oh. And see you later, Utah. Thanks for the lurk. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Cucumber water. I used to have a, I used to date a, a woman from Ottawa and she, we got these water bottles together that you could like put fruit or whatever into the center part of a, of a water bottle. And then you put that into your water bottle and it would flavor the water. It was kind of overly complicated. I just drink water, but I put bubbles. Soda stream, soda stream. Soda Stream, Soda Stream. I am not sponsored by Soda Stream, but Soda Stream, if you can see me and you would like to sponsor me, I love your machine. I will talk about it every day on stream if you want me to. I will, for real. Hi, Utah. Hi, Utah. Should have made that one message. No worries. Lurk, hello. <laughs> it's all good. I appreciate the lurks. You have no idea. The fact that you would take time to open up a tab Come in here just to support and show a little bit of, of like appreciation and love. It's amazing. It's amazing. Don't ever feel bad for lurking. You're helping. You're helping and you're supporting. So I truly appreciate it. Um, I lurk all the time. I'm always lurking in places. And I usually try not to chat because then I get pulled into the chat and I get all like into it. I'm supposed to be working. I'm supposed to be doing stuff. But I want to talk to you anyway. So I lurk a lot. Yeah. All right. So we need to figure out where this would be a fixable. Now, I did all kinds of things where I was trying to power the block from different points, but this is not going to work if this is... Boy, um... Oh, yeah, I forgot there's all the gold in it. Oh, I caught it all. Good for me. Bing bong, I'm back. Peanut, welcome back. How's it going? Placing the detector rail under the piston? You mean there? It's essentially moving the problem over. What I'm thinking... Well, hang on. You mean, just to confirm, you mean there? Hi, Peanut, hi, Peanut. Yeah, Utah's, Utah's lurking. How long have I been working on this world? Well, it's, a, it's an SMP, so there's a lot of us. This is not a... Um, this is not a single player hardcore. Hoser does not play hardcore, but Hoser is gonna be playing hardcore. That's a little segue, by the way. If any of you are following me on, on Twitter, <laughs> in like 10 days, I will be part of a massive 100 content creators, 100 of us, five days, nonstop, hardcore simulation world thing. And I am probably gonna die on day one, but I'm really hoping I won't. I asked for help today on Twitter. Please tell me what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um, okay, so yes, since the minecart would be on both blocks. And then I would just have to pull the detection off of here. Off of there and power the piston from below it and then move that power down. I'm willing to try anything, uh, but I was going to move the hopper to over here. But that's okay. I don't need to do that. If you say, we'll try yours. So that's going to be locking a hopper that would be here. Don't die. Yeah, that's what I told everybody on Twitter was going to say that. So I actually put that in the tweet. I was like, to everybody who just wants to say, don't die, uh, shush you. <laughs> uh, you're playing video games with your dad? That's why you're lurking? Oh, Utah, no worries. What are you playing? Problem is he doesn't remember his password for his account. Oh. <laughs> so you're, you're 
not playing. Voided, to go back to your question, it's a, it's a multiplayer, so it's not like I have a day count or anything, but we started up this server, um, season three of Pleasant Craft started in July of 2022. It's like six or seven months ago. Seven months ago we've been playing. But there's like 15 of us here, so it's not all me that has done everything. It's not, not hardcore. Does that mean I'll be streaming for five days, Emilia? It means I will be streaming a lot during those five days. A lot. A lot more than I usually do. Yes. Halo Infinite Multiplayer. Cool. The detector rail won't be triggering their hopper. And it would still pick it up, you feel, if it's going to be... So the minecart would have been... Uh, whoops, I should definitely get the rails out from my... Um, hmm, you rails 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 this one um you hope it's eu friendly i think that in if, if you mean like time zone wise um yeah because i'm going to be starting probably earlier boink. in the day i'm gonna boink to you peanut i'll be starting earlier in the day but doing like chunks take a break chunk take a break because i'm still 48 years old and i can't stream like some of these yahoos do for like 12 like zan sandingo and dame the dime who do like 12 18 hour streams are you out of your mind i'm too old for that i would die <laughs> so so yeah um but yes it's definitely going to be more than you would normally uh have streaming from uh from the hoser and it's going to be on like a very weird schedule you're hacking the own account, also known as a login. Hack the account. Do it. Do it. Mr. Tim, absolutely take care of yourself. Thank you. Hey, first comment you make, and it's a great one. Thank you. I will. 120-hour stream. I will not. <laughs> Amelia. See? See? That's... No. Thank you, Ellie. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. There's 100 players. Like, no idea what's going to go, go on. I am... I am... I am a boomer confirmed 100%. Well, everybody knows I'm 48. I was born in 74. Not a, not a secret. We celebrated my birthday last August on stream. So it's all it's all good. But, um, <clears throat> oh, wait. Yeah, I'm, wait, I'm, am I a Gen Xer? I don't know what I am. Am I a Gen Xer? I did enjoy a silly Skippy video. I haven't had a chance yet to set it up, Ariel, but I'm going to be sharing that stuff with people. You'll see. You'll see. People will be going to see it. Don't you worry. I'm a Gen Xer, yeah? Okay. Confirmed. They know. They know these things. I don't know these things. Me and Kyle like to like joke that we're boomers, but we're not. I don't know what a boomer is. I don't think I'm a boomer. Uh, detector rail would be here, you're saying. Yoink, yoink. First of all, let's break the... No. I'm gonna break this. Uh, you and then you up there which means technically I don't need that top one anymore to be a rail right because it's already got that and it'll be in between those two and then we would have a hopper s sitting here now I'm worried that would the cart actually make it through that and end up on it oh yeah mistakes have been made that's why I had that set up the way I did Good job, Hoser. Your parents are boomers. My parents are boomers? Okay. A boomer at heart. Ouch, Mel. Ow. Ay -ay. Ouch. <laughs> uh, stay off my lawn. Yeah, maybe a little bit of that sometimes. Utah, thanks for being here. And thank you for actually lurking. I appreciate it. Okay. So, yeah. I want to have that go there. Are you going to default? No, you're not. And then I could remove it if I need to. That's fine. So now we have this block powering this, which should lock this, right? This is not activated. Perfect. The minecart will pop in the same, so I don't need to change the direction of it. I just need to change where I'm taking the redstone feed off of. So I need this to drop down here. And then... Comparator output from the side here, which could fit along this line. Hmm. Hmm. A boomer at heart. Shush. <laughs> oh, Ariel's also a boomer heart. Oh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I'm reading those wrong. 
Should I go and dump a bunch of my savings on flowers? Um, you're asking the wrong person. I never say flowers. Personal, personal opinion, don't ever get me flowers. I'm not gonna keep them as alive as long as they could live. They're just gonna die. And then it gets sad because it's just and they're dying. Get a plant if you want. Something easy to take care of. Don't give them a job that they don't want. Don't give people a job that they don't want. Or do they have hay fever? Yeah, okay, obvious questions you should check. Definitely things you should know about your partner. I would not. Sunflowers? Is a sunflower easy to take care of? I feel like that would need a lot of sun and then you have to water it a lot and keep them. Basically, you're giving them a job to do. Think about that. That's what I don't want. Don't give me, don't give me a job to do. I don't want extra chores in my day. Roses are edible too. True. A cactus, see, now we're talking. A cactus or one of those, uh, a succulent, which needs just a little bit of water every once in a while, but you just put it by a window and it should be good. I say that of the four plants that I have, I have an aloe plant, a crazy, I don't know what it's called, maybe a spider plant or something. I have no idea what it's called. Um, a weird little tree that I don't know what it's called and a succulent. And of the four, the succulent is the one that's dead. That's also on the Instagram if people are following along. I haven't given up on that little guy. I'm gonna try and revive it, but I, I don't think it's gonna work. Mr. Tim says, if you're giving flowers, arrange them for them. Don't make them do that either. You gotta make them like pretty and bouquet -y and everything. I like this song. Cactus is a bad luck in some cultures. Is it really? Man. Cle don't ask me. Clearly. Five cactuses, they all died. I'm not a plant person, Amelia. <laughs> mm, mm. Okay, so peanut. Cacti are bad luck inside the house. You are from a culture where that's true. Same, some succulents as well, wow. I killed succulent too. I was so proud to keep this cute fact. Oh, the cute, cute little cactus alive. Well, good job, because I, it's the one plant that has died, is the one that's supposed to be unkillable. I do not have a green thumb. I'm really not great at the whole plants thing. Okay, I need some blocks. We're gonna try this. All right, so my idea is essentially if I could just drop, I'm gonna wanna take a reed off of here. Redstone. Uh, you know what, I could probably put a block like that. And uh, I'm talking to myself here. This will make sense in a little second here. Okay, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Um, what is a succulent? It's a type of plant. It kind of, kind of like cactus, but not really. Again, you're asking me plant questions. I'm like the worst person in the world to ask all these questions. Somebody else will be able to tell you what a succulent is. I'm sure of it. Or if somebody can post one in the Discord and like random stuff, so we can help Emilia figure out what's going on. Cause yeah, I don't, I don't. I don't know. I has no idea. You were doing so well until you forgot it outside on winter and then noticed it was plant. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, you thought you were keeping the plant alive, but it was actually a, pla a plastic cactus. Ariel, you're not serious. You were watering a plastic plant? <laughs> oh, that's good. A plactus. Yeah, a plactus. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, Peanuts says, I go about my day and think, what would Hoser do when something odd happens? <laughs> really? I'm a reference point? Don't use me as a reference point. I'm a terrible reference point. Emilia's a dork, so am I. <laughs> good stuff. Ariel, that's so good. Uh, Lego has flower bouquets, which look awesome if they're into that. Ooh, Ellie with the nice idea. See, if you want to get me flowers, which, I mean, don't get me flowers, but if you wanted to get me flowers, Lego flowers? Yeah. Yes, please. I'll take Lego flowers. 
Uh, okay. This is gonna make sense in a little bit. You'll see. You'll see. Come here, you. Am I gonna be able to, like, walk around here after? Probably not. Oh my Jesus, what is happening? We're being raided! No! Yeah. Master Shifu! How you doing, Shifu? Welcome, everybody! Shifu! Minecraft Nami, how you doing, Nami? Oh, she's gone! Stop it! <laughs> ah, I hate that sound. I hate that sound so much. Who did that? I didn't even notice who did that. Oh, Wolven. Of course it's Wolven. Jeez, Wolven, how you doing? Good to see you. Haven't seen you in a while. Thank you for the bits. And you're a jerk. <laughs> That's awesome. Ah, uh, now I'm shaking. Don't... Now I'm shaking. Shifu! How's it going, Huggles? Good to see you again. Been a while? It has been a while. I saw your tweets and stuff that you're talking about getting back into it, feeling good. I'm glad you're feeling better. How was the stream? What were you doing? You don't have to get into anything about the whole, you know, not not streaming, but if you want, you can tell us, like, mm, share, feeling better, things are good. I'm glad to see that you're doing it. You're back up and doing it. Good stuff. Huggles is better late than never? No, you're right on time, Huggles. Perfectly on time. <laughs> Just jerk. You're okay with it. Well, I'm glad you are. <laughs> ah, I do not like the heart attacks. But thank you for the raid. I appreciate that. When you finally had a chance to, like, catch up, let, let, let us know what you were up to. What were you doing? And also, to everybody who just raided in, thank you. If you don't know me, I'm the big hoser. I, I play Minecraft. And uh, we spend more time really chatting. Essentially, it's pretty much like a just chatting stream with Minecraft in the background. And sometimes I place blocks. Sometimes I do things. You know, sometimes. We're working on some redstone here, in case you couldn't tell. Trying to get the barter system up and running so it's automated so we can feed it gold whenever we want. And then when it runs out, the minecart will come back up and refill, get some new gold, and then go go do all of this again. That's what we're working on today. And uh, Butterbear pointed out last time that we had something in the... Oh, no. Oh, that's going to connect, maybe? <gasps> oh, my goodness. Butterbear pointed out that we had something that we needed to fix. So I'm trying to see if we can fix it. Hmm. Although, yeah, I don't need to go that far, do I? Because I'm going to want to do that over here. You just had the flu. Oh, that's what it was. Not... And finally got out of the hospital. Wow. Today we were grinding out some of the resources for my factory build on Dragonfell. Nice. Well, I'm glad you're feeling better. Love Hoser Streams. Very relatable convos go down. It's true. We do talk. We are relatable. I don't know. Am I? Am I relatable? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I am very glad to hear that you're feeling better. Welcome to the Jerk Club. Mel's, a, Mel's a, one of the founding members. <laughs> Wait, what was happening about the question about next year? Peanut, what'd you say about next year? Something, something? Lego flowers, you may need more money for that next year. Oh, I see. That would be cool. I mean, that's one, one kind of flower gift that I wouldn't mind. If somebody got me Lego flowers, I would love that. One of my brothers, oh man, talk about a segue into a great story. One of my brothers is building a Lego sorting table for his kid. For my nephew, he's building a table. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Before we get too far into this exciting story, Shifu, thank you for the raid. If you do need to raid and run, go take care of yourself. Go get food, go get drinks, just get away from the screen and the lights. I understand how that is. Thank you for popping in. If you're gonna hang out and lurk with us, that's also cool. But yeah, like, definitely take care of yourself. Same thing for all of you raiders who came in. If you're normally, you know, somewhere else at this time of day, I appreciate you popping in, sharing all the positivity, but if you gotta go, you gotta go. Take care of yourselves first. And now back to some Lego. So my brother, yeah, building a Lego, huh? Building a Lego sorting table for his kid, my nephew. Big old table, right? Big old table thing. What just happened? Woven, did you do a second thing that didn't actually go through? Oh my goodness. <gasps> it didn't go through. 
swollen. I'm so sorry. Is there like a cooldown on that? Oh, why? Why? I'll do this. Wow. Why didn't you do it? But thank you so much. You absolutely would have skipped. Ah, what the? Oh my Jesus. <laughs> I was talking about being scared and I got scared. Why? Ah. Oh my goodness gracious. Who did that? Who did that? Shifu. Thank you. Thank you. And you are also now a jerk. Ah. <laughs> Goodness. Oh gosh. <laughs> Wolven broke the button. I will do a goose for we don't do the goose very often. Wolven, this is just for you. The Canadian goose. Honk. <laughs> I love, it's the sound that I do when I go. <laughs> ah, I like that one. I like that one. Ah, good times. Okay, this is this is yeah. That's causing an issue right there. I see it. I think somebody pointed it out to me that the uh, the lever is the one that's doing it. So what we'll do is move that, move this. Uh, we'll place a. Actually, I could put that back there and then just put the lever on the side here. Power that rail from the side, and that's fine. Then we got to put the comparator. Ah, nope, wrong way. You come on, come on, right. Right on that little pixel. There we go. Put it in subtract mode. And then we'll see if we can make this work from there. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm, I apologize for that second sound not going through. Feels like it's only 11 p.m., but it's not. Don't want to sleep. Emilia, you can. You, you definitely need to get some sleep at some point. And Shifu's definitely hanging around for a bit. I appreciate you hanging out, Shifu. It's going to be good times. You're not tired. Mm, I, I, I feel the lies. Okay, so Torch. Torch. Boom. So now we have the comparative system is there. This is powering that, which might cause me some issues. So if I basically just put in a solid block there, and then when there's nothing, I want it to stop. So I would still need to invert the signal. So we'll put the redstone torch off the back of this and then put that. So now we've got it where as long as, as long as this little lever down here doesn't mess things up and I'm feeling like it might, that powers this area above. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. That is gonna be boink. a problem. A uh, boink and a boink to you too. <laughs> The Valentine people I'm buying flowers from also sell food. Screw the flowers, get food. There you go. Now you can have an edible heart things. Peanut, now you're onto it. Forget flowers, get Valentine's food. A bouquet, a, like an arrangement of Valentine's-ish food that your significant other would enjoy with like little chocolates and little truffles, bacon. <laughs> yes, a bacon bouquet. Do it, do it. Do it. That's a great idea. Uh, speaking of goose, I recently dreamt I was getting on the bus and was horribly attacked by a goose. That is a that's a nightmare. That's not a dream. That's a nightmare. Also, yeah, the geese are they are evil. Not gonna lie, they're not they're not the friendliest things in the world. Um, it's always going to be powered. The comparator is powering the piston opposite of where the torch is. This one should power this. Until the... Okay, so here's what's going to happen. Whoop, I'm going to fall. That's step one. Step one, fall first. It's part of the plan. Hang, hear me out, hear me out. Step one, fall. Uh, get better at the game. That's step two. Step one, fall. Step two, get better at the game. Then, the minecart is going to be traveling around when it has gold in it. And then once it is out of gold, it's going to come back to the beginning and drop itself into that spot that I was just trying to show you and fell off of. So, minecart going around. Right? Here, let me, let me show you that part so you understand what's going on. So the minecart is full of gold. Goes around. Comes back. 
if it has gold, it triggers this, what is which this will for? turn for, this for, rail. For, 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 I'm trying to explain for, 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 something, Amelia. You're so rude, but also thank you for the hydration reminder. It's good for me to drink water. <laughs> okay. Drinking water. Jeez, you, you're all on fire today with this hydration stuff. What is wrong with all of you? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay. <laughs> Look, that's a lot for like, what time is it? It's 8.43 and you can spend my whole second half of the stream in the washroom. Okay. Okay, so explaining the redstone. Oh, oh, fail. Uh, you were probably chatting to each other in Discord too, the two of you. In, in cahoots. There was cahooting going on over here. Cahoots. Oh, Amelia was going to do it. Oh, well, there you go. There's no cahooting. Butter Bear just beat, beat you to it. <laughs> okay. Um, what? Why? Amelia? Let's go. Okay, I will. I will streaming while streaming. <laughs> Ariel. No. Um, okay, so if the minecart has gold in it, triggers this. Comparator says, yes, I saw something. There was definitely something in it. Sit up straight, you hoser. Hey, stop. Leave me alone. I'm, I'm talking. I'm saying things. Also, you're not my real dad. I'm sitting up perfectly straight, kind of, on the bouncy ball. <laughs> Yeehaw. Uh, oh, there we go. Boy. Are you doing a sound tsunami? Are you doing the sound tsunami? You're doing all of them? Go. <laughs> go, Emilia, go. Click it. All the buttons, all the buttons. Emilia's doing a tsunami. I really need to get a tsunami animation, like a wave coming from the other side of the screen. Just <sighs> add it to the list of million things that I think would be fun to do. Okay, so if it gets powered, it hops over this point. It has gold, it skips this. That will be turned, powered by this little guy right here. It will power it, turn, goes this way. Minecart goes back down, cycles back around, keeps going, right? Keeps going. If there's no gold, it doesn't send a signal, does not turn this rail, so the cart comes up and then goes here. This is the part that we just moved based on the suggestion from Butterbear that essentially, while the cart is here, it should be between these two rails, therefore sending a signal through the detector and also being able to receive items from the hopper. Oh, Amelia, did you go through all of your points? <laughs> Amelia, you are such an adorable dork. <laughs> oh, funny. They have truffles, Hoser. They have truffles! Let's go! <laughs> I always feel weird when I say let's go. Let's go! Boy, yeah, let's go. Do it. Let's go. Yeehaw. And a boy. Um, still waiting for new suggestions, by the way, for sounds that you would all like me to record. Now, they have to be PG-13 things, but things like, you know, boing, bonk, whatever. Send me little DMs and say, you should record this. That would be funny. If I like it, I'll record it and I'll add it to the rotation. So the theory is the minecart will end up and it will be on both of these rails held by the, the fence post. It will be able to give a signal to the, mine, to the comparator but it will also be able to receive items from this. I should record Uwu? No, that's one I will totally not record. Get out of here. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Vetoed, yeah, everybody's like, nope. Yeehaw. Let's get some work done. Oh, come on, Zoe. Yeah, let's get some work done. It, maybe like a whole sentence. I'm thinking Ellie more like, like one word things, but if you want me to record what? like, let's get some work done in some really you know, angry at myself voice. Come on, hoser. Like the like the sit up straight hoser one. Maybe I could. We'll see. I'm also thinking I should be able to just do this with a regular rail because it'll catch up there. And if I put another powered one a um, little bit closer, say here. Hmm. Would that mess anything up? Yeah, I bet you if I put it here and just put another repeater on the other side of it, that shouldn't touch any of the redstone. So that should be fine. 
and I doubt we'll need that much of a ramp up from the, the minecart, but whatever, it's there. So the idea here is, this is a 15 power output from the torch. This is 14. So as long as the minecart is not totally full, meaning not registering more than a 15 output, it shouldn't move. The minute it goes over 14, it will unlock the minecart. Minecart drops into the system and goes. Goes around until it's empty and then comes back, gets checked here when it is empty, gets redirected to there and then refills. So I feel like maybe we could test. Although where did the minecart go? Was it there? When we, maybe I already took it away? Hmm. Do I have any glass? I do. Let's put a block right there and a block there. There. I made a little ramp so I can walk around. Because I think, I think we're ready to test this thing to see if it works. Is everything still spawn proof? Let's not make, let's not make mistakes where we're getting pigment in here all the time. So this should be able to send the signal. We got a 14 red, 14 redstone. I don't need this block anymore, do I? I don't, so I can take this glass. Try it out to make sure it works. I think we're about to. I feel like this is it. We're about to test. I feel like. I feel like making love. It's a song. DMCA. I can't sing it. Can't sing it. Sorry. Sorry. Every time I say I feel like and pause, I go to that song. Um, you're back. VR made some dinner. Chicken rice uh, rice patates. I'm, I'm French. Sorry. I read patates. <laughs> Oh, chicken and rice, mashed potatoes, and corn. Yummy. By the way, I missed your response to my suggestion a few days ago. Do you like the redeem idea of sending you on a stretch break of a minute? Oh, I do remember. That was like right as we were raiding somebody, right? I'm not sure because I do stretch from the hanging bar. It's a great thing for stretching. But because I'm always sitting on my bouncy ball, I'm always like really good with my posture and like sitting up straight. But I'll tell you what I do have. I tell you what I do have, Ellie, because you got me thinking about some stuff. This will take a little moment to set up. I wasn't ready for this, but I'm thinking maybe on this journey of getting back into health that I'm that I'm on. I, I have a, see, this is where it's going to be a little challenging. I had to move the ball, knock all my lights over. Perfect. I slide this bench over, which is my workout bench. Okay, I'm still kind of on camera. Oh, geez, am I gonna hit things? I'm totally gonna hit, this might, this might not work, everybody. This might not work. Stay with me, stay with me. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work. Hang on. <laughs> I did not think this through. Okay, if I go there, yeah, let's try it. Okay, we're gonna try this. Ah. Oh, you're right, I do need a, no, I don't need a hop, uh, yeah, you're right, I do need a hopper minecart. You're absolutely right, give me a second. I'm gonna take the ears out, right? I can't hear you or do anything, but I'm not sure if this will work because of the green screen behind me, but I can do, crunches on my uh, incline, well, sit-ups actually, on my incline bench. So I could do one, two, three, four. I put my hands up, five, so you know I'm still there. Six, and how far I'm going, seven. <laughs> Eight. Yahoo! Nine. Ten. <laughs> that worked a lot better than I thought it would actually for not having planned it. I was thinking about it. I was like, maybe I could do that. Hey, Vordis, how's it going? I was like, maybe I could. Okay, let's see if it'll work. And then I tried to fit the bench under and I was like, kind of think how it would fit. And so anyway, Maybe I'll do that. But yeah, I, I, it worked. Oh, 
<laughs> I'm such a dork. But that one, yeah. That one I'm gonna have to limit because like, I'm really out of shape, right? I'm trying to rebuild to get into better shape. And I can do 10 pretty easy because I've got a solid core. I've always had, because I always sit on a ball and everything, I've talked about this a lot. I've got a pretty good core, but I also don't want to push it where I injure myself, right? That would not be smart. So that one would be like, I don't know, once in the first half of the stream, once in the second half of the stream kind of thing. Like I'd have to space it out quite a bit. But yeah, I think I might do that. I'm think I'm gonna add it. Hi, Gordis. <laughs> And it's just using my incline bench, which is in the gym anyway, because I have gym equipment behind the green screen. And it would be something that like people can get me to do and I'll do 10. And then I don't know, maybe we could throw, eventually do some like challenges where at the end of a stream, try to see how many I could do. Will Hoser get to 15 or something? Hey Firestar, how you doing? I don't want to push too hard where I injure myself. And I did notice just now by doing the 10 and always coming up and turning towards the camera, I already feel like the left side got a little bit more of a twist and turn to it. What? Oh my goodness. Vortis. Oh, thank you, Vortis. Firestar, have some syrup. Decent. <laughs> That's such like a 90s. Decent. Nice. <laughs> Thank you, Vortis. That's very generous. Will we ever see behind the green screen? You know, Butterbear, I talked about that a while ago. At some point, if I can do, if I can set up some lights and things, I have a shelf I need to build. I've also, hang on, where is it? Hang on. So the green screen is on currently, it's on a tripod on that side, and on that side it's just resting on the top of my um, my blinds for the window. Now you're doing good, right on. I have my little project box here of things that I need to install. I purchased, basically, something that I wanna hang the green screen from, blinds. A blinds mechanism, so that I could then raise and lower the green screen because setting it up and moving it all the time, moving the tripod thing, the bar with the clamp and everything would be like so complicated. But if I install this little thing, so today actually, today, I measured the first spot on the ceiling and then I ran out of time with other things that I was doing. But I'm gonna get these little clamps up into the ceiling, try and get the bar to go straight across. I've got the wall anchors, serious wall anchors, so they go up into the ceiling so that I don't have nothing breaks. Project box. Once I get that installed, then technically I would be able to raise and lower the green screen, just going, you know, get the lights, shift the lights over. And then I could be doing gym stuff with people. Remember we talked about it? I wake up in the morning and we would do workouts together to try and like get in shape kind of thing. Never did that. Never did that. Well, I was diabetic and I was in a coma. That's why. But now I'm not. So maybe... Maybe we have a session in the morning where we get up, we hang out together for a little bit. I'm definitely gonna have my coffee first. Don't bug me, coffee first, don't bug me. But then, I don't know, in the morning, we'd hang out for a little bit. Just do very, very light stuff. Just work out together. If you don't have weights, you just do like free, free body squats, you know? Free weight body squats. Some squats would be great because I need to work on my legs, my gluteus maximus, you know? get all that strength back and I could do some wide pull downs. Holy cow noise. Vortis, what are you doing? Butter bear. <laughs> oh my goodness, Vortis, thank you. Thank you. Doesn't live in the game. I don't live in the game, Hex. I actually live outside of Minecraft. Vortis, thank you so much for that. You're very generous. Butter bear, enjoy the syrup. Enjoy. Coffee is important, Firestar, yes, yes. Coffee first, plus it gives me a chance to catch up on Discord, because everybody here, we have a very active Discord server, lots of people, lots of images and posts and things, and then, oh my jeebus. Vortis, what are you doing? What are you doing? What is going on? Oh, there's a, the animation worked! 
the animation worked. The 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 shulker came out and he bleh, he bleh, your your avatar up onto the screen, and then it put like the number in front of my face, but it worked. Oh my goodness, you're having a mental health crisis day. <laughs> well, thank you, Vortis. I appreciate that. Mr. Fitz, Spirit Box, Indigo's on, Zoe, Bun Bun, Old Legacy, it's Mina, Pillar of Nothing, Bobby247, and Bivarin. Vortis, thank you so much. A total of 22 subs to the community. Wow. 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 Thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. I appreciate that. That's, um, that's a crazy amount of support. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I get, I am, mm, yeah. Sometimes I feel weird. I don't know how to like, ex oh, so stop it. Now what's going on? Ellie! Ellie! Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Zoe comes back in to say thanks and lurking. Thanks, Zoe. I appreciate it. Ellie, thank you very much. Thank you crazy oh the thing we were talking about yesterday might work in the end yeah heck, definitely that was we will we'll figure that out there's an idea coming there's an idea coming for something else but yes we'll talk more about that next week hex next week when we're on the when we're on the other server probably monday i'm thinking because i got to do some stuff on the weekend to sort of work it out in my head oh my goodness what the heck people what the heck oh what is going on Mr. Tim subbing as well. Brand new sub using the Prime. Get out, Mr. Tim. The precious Prime. What are you all doing? Okay, this is not like level four train. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you. Just for anybody who's like new and wondering, normally it's like very chill. We just chat. We just play some Minecraft. Now there's bits coming in from Ellie. Oh my goodness, you are all out of your minds. Vorta says, I got a big raise today. Realist, I'm not feeling happy, so something's off, but I don't have a specific reason, so today I jumped in Satisfactory and started a new game. Satisfactory is a fun game. Vortis, thank you for being here. I hope that we're helping you feel a little bit better. Oh my goodness, people doing bits. Utah, thank you. Firestar with the boing, boing to you. It's because people love me. Well, uh, yeah, that's what it makes it. I feel so weird sometimes. I know that I spread. Okay, I talk about spreading positivity and about being good and about just being a good human and, and just, you know, give give positivity and energy to people. And I will admit I have I have a bit of a problem accepting uh, showers of positivity. I am. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I just basically like. Thank you for that, by the way, Utah. <laughs> Hype train is just subs and bits. I think so. Um, you are, but I left my water in the kitchen, so I'm going to go get it. Get some water, definitely. I was going to ask about that auto-sorting gravel hopper you mentioned, but only if you have time, since I haven't been in Minecraft today. Mel. Stop it. What the heck? Utah, you are also now subbed. Every you get a sub, you get a sub, you get it's like it's like an Oprah show. What is going on? Holy cow! Holy cow! We have a hype train. I know. Holy! Whoa! 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 Butter bear! Whoa! 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 That was a lot of zeros. Butterbear. What? What the heck are you all doing? Butterbear. That's a lot of zeros, dude. That's a lot of zeros. Okay, you have to let me know. Because, like, I can do, like, the refund thing. If it was an, an extra zero, accidental zero. You let me know. Send me a little DM. Don't beep. Just on the side. Whoop, whoop, and we'll talk about it. But holy cow. I, uh. I, <laughs> I don't know what to do anymore. 
The zeros are right. Oh my jeebus, Butterbear, thank you. That's... God, I have trouble with this. Okay, it's something I need to work on. I know it's something I need to work on. Yeah, only a hundred US dollars. It's, I don't even know what that is in Canadians, like a bazillion, because our exchange rate is not that great. And more bits, oh, stop it, stop, oh my goodness. Oh yeah, let's Canadian goose for sure. The Canadian goose. Honk, honk. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. What the? Oh my cow. Um, okay, I was trying to fix redstone, right? Right, we're doing redstone. Oh, you Hex goes and does the conversion. Thank you, Hex. Math, let's go. <laughs> you didn't need to do that. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, uh... Wow. Yeah, thank you very much, everybody. Level 7 hype train, yeah. Okay, but no, like... Just chill. <laughs> I'm never going to get this redstone finished. I'm never going to get this redstone finished. I need to focus. Oh, my God. <laughs> Please stop. Oh, Fortis. Uh, thank you for the bits. And you are also now a jerk. Butterbear. Yeah, you're the first in bits. Of course you are. That was a lot of bits. Oh, stop it. Plus a jump scare. Oh my goodness. Can someone explain the bits? Mythical beast, do they give hoser money? Yeah, that's the thing. Those are real, All every bit is a penny, basically. Every bit is one US penny. And you have to, you have to like buy them with real money on Twitch. That's more, that's 75 real cents of US dollars. Like, well not 75 dollars, but that's real money that people are throwing. Thank you again, Ellie. Please stop. <laughs> Little unicorn popping out of a heart. Cute. <laughs> but yeah, that's it's that's that's awesome. That's awesome. Vortis always jump scares. Loves it. Your focus needs your focus needs more focus. Ford focus. Crashing into a wall helped, right? Yes, yes, yes. Also, yeah, yeah, the Ford focus helps the focus. Holy kazoo. Unbelievable. Okay, we are gonna do some redstone. I need a hopper. Then we make a hopper minecart. And we're gonna test the system, everybody, which is what we've been trying to do for a good long time. Oh my god, back to the Fortis. Okay. Um, so apparently you just earned a uh, 1k bits badge Vortis. Good job. Betty didn't expect it twice. I didn't. Aren't you supposed to strip when people throw money? Ariel, PG-13? No. Hocus Pocus by the band Focus. I love that song. I cannot play it on stream, but that is a fantastic song. Thank you again, Vortis, for the bits. I mean... It's very, very warm in my room right now, and I'm I'm feeling all of this. <clears throat> it's a fantastic song. Yes, it is. Told you that I pay back gifted subs to me tenfold. Oh my goodness. I don't remember you saying that, but holy kazoo. That is bonkers. Adjust Halo. I'm innocent. Yeah, you, you are not. Oh my, and it's a level. We just did another like emote thing. What the heck? We completed a level seven or six? It's an all-time record shattered. We just broke a record. It's telling it's telling me up on the thing that this is the the craziest thing ever. Okay, let's do redstone together. We're gonna we're gonna check it out. We're gonna look, see if it will. Hang on. Mm, I don't want to test it from here. Let's test it. Okay, 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 yes. I'm, I'm so confused right now. Give me a second to just think about what I'm supposed to be doing. Because I wanted to test this where the minecart goes and then comes back around. And then it should, because it's empty, it should get stopped right here. Yes, it does. Perfect. Does it pick up items? It does. 
Ooh, baby, we are on to it, but it's not giving me an output. So we have a problem with this right here. Hmm, Butterbear, do you see it? Can you see it? I do not believe it is activating the, because that hitbox is not registering on top of that. Theory has failed. It's not gonna work. I liked it, but it's not gonna work. So, so, hmm, sticky like syrup. It is, you gotta love the syrup. Thank you for letting me pay attention. <laughs> I earned every penny. Ellie, that's very kind. I appreciate that. Achoo -choo. You broke a new record today, VR. You did indeed. You did indeed. It's a Valentine train. They choo choose you. Oh my goodness. That was. I mean, I also. We've got the badums, but I may need the barf one. A <laughs> barf one. Handshake, yeah. Well, my hand's gonna be a little bit trembly right now, but it's not at all because of blood sugar. It's just like a lot of adrenaline and, and stuff. It's nothing to do with my blood sugar. You've all just made me a little bit rattled. That's all. Oh, and Utah gave you the bums before I did. Sorry. Um, use an end rod. Do you think that the smaller footprint here would cause the minecart to go a little bit further in and register? I'm not opposed to trying different things here. It's a Valentine's reference. Oh, Mel got the reference. Mel, Mel and Ariel, you, you probably would uh, be good friends too. We'd hit, we'd hit it up. If we end up doing the Jeu de Société night at, uh, with Pod, we'll try and see if Mel can maybe come. I mean, Mel is going to come. I mean, Ariel as well. I'm too many things. Iron Bar maybe, but what I'm thinking is, what about, what about placing um, an item in front of it? where something that is very, very small footprint, like a mob head. So if we go back to spawn and we get that villager trader mob head, right? The villager trader mob head, because the, the minecart, anything that is centered on the block is still gonna be centered and cause the minecart to stop, I mean, pixels from where it is. At most with an iron bar, it would be here. Same thing with the end rod, right? It would stop there. But if I can get a mob head here, which might not be pulled by the sticky piston. So I'm thinking something else that might pull this. Stop, stop, Amelia. I'm trying to focus. What? No. What is this for? Oh, Amelia's on the other account. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. Amelia's back on the other account, Boink. that's why. The one with all the points. I see what you're doing, Amelia. All right, fair, well played, well played. Good job, good job. <laughs> Cheers. Oh. <sighs> Canel, I do love Canel. Okay, so what if Spending her brother's points. I mean, technically she owned them, right? She earned them. Okay, so we move the, the, the piston. Okay, I have an idea, I have an idea. Hear me out, hear me out. Can I get another piston? Um, I would need a sticky block. Sit up straight, you Maybe hoser. Maybe we'll take some. What, I am sitting up straight. Oh, you're just still going on the redemptions. Let's go, do it. Um, then if I had either a trap door or yeah i'm gonna go try to get the mob head or an amethyst i think a mob head or an amethyst might be my solution here hear me out you'll see what i mean when i get it we need to go back to where we were and get some things mob head or some amethyst Just earned twenty dollars for fifteen minutes of work. You or me? You? Good job. Or me? Good job. I'm not sure what you're saying. <laughs> good job, hex. I think if you're talking about you, good job. Oh, I still got this on. Stop. Holy kazoo! You? Hey, good job. 
Okay, speaking of weird job offers. GG, by the way. Nicely done. 15 minutes of work, that's an 80 buck an hour rate. That's a very decent rate, let me tell you. Here's something weird. I was talking to an old colleague of mine, CEO of a company that I used to work for doing RFID installations at airports all around the world. Big thing, I was an RFID implementation specialist, but then COVID hit, all the airports in the world started shutting down. Uh, excuse me, I'm talking here. And then, yeah, so all of the job, the job, the company, the industry went into nothingness. And we were just talking today, uh, a couple, two days ago, three days ago on, on um, LinkedIn. Just catching up, hey, how you doing? It's been a long time, what are you up to? Explained, I told him about Silly, I told him about the diabetes, about a bunch of stuff because he knew I had a dog now. And he says, well, speaking of which, you have a dog now. That's how Silly came up. If you, can you travel at all? And I was like, well, actually, I, Silly wasn't able, to, when I moved and I, I was, I, my friend fostered her during the construction part because it was just too much. I was overwhelmed. She was eating construction material and then vomiting black. It was really, really bad. So my friend fostered her for a while and one month turned into three months, turned into six months, turned into a, like, it's just too long. So now basically it's her dog. They love each other very much and it would be rude to sort of take her away. So yeah, I have no dog anymore. So what he goes, oh, you could travel. I was like, yeah, I could travel. Because we could fly you down to my house so you could watch our dog for a week. Not a lot of pay, but we have a car in case you want to pop into town or everything. And it's 40 bucks a day and, you know, food and lodging for the week and, you know, get you out of the house to travel for a bit. I'm sorry, what? You're going to fly me to your house to watch your dog for a week? I don't care how much you're paying me a day. Uh, yes. What are we talking about here? Are you serious? So I have, I was like, the last thing I wrote to him was, <laughs> what, um, yeah? What are you talking about? Because here's the thing. He's one of those gentlemen that we've been working in the industry. We worked in airline industry. While I was working for the five, six or six to eight years that I was traveling, I cannot tell you how many like Delta points I got. Delta points upon Delta points. I could travel anywhere points I could get hotels points you just have to pay the taxes and everything so while I was working traveling around the world and staying in hotels was nothing because of the amount of points that you have oh jealous tell me about it. I have none anymore none I don't travel I haven't the job's gone so while I was doing it woo! but now uh, excuse me mr. golem hello I'm what um, no you're right you're much bigger than I am please please do whatever you want yep yep bully bully <laughs> so <clears throat> I traveled a lot and I had for in those eight years I could go anywhere I wanted on vacation and just like fly and stay at hotels I was paying just the taxes or like little fees it was amazing this gentleman that used to be the CEO of the company that we were working for has been traveling so long only with Delta maybe some of you have heard that Delta has like the million mile club where they get when you get a million miles of flying you're like in an elite status you pretty much are always bumped up to first class. Like it's crazy, right? Uh, this gentleman went past 2 million miles and is well on his way to 3 million miles. He's been traveling and flying around the world for 50 or 60 years now. He's, he's, he's an older gentleman, 50 years, we'll say. He's got points, points. So for him, like flying somebody around no biggie. So I think that's what he's going to do. I think he's basically going to use his points and like fly me to his place so I can watch his dog for a week. Weird. Okay. Note to self. Do not chat on the phone prior to come watch the stream. Feels like a rerun. Yes. We, uh, we, you did hear all of these stories yesterday. Not all of them though, because some of the stuff I haven't even told him uh, that I would definitely agree to and go, seriously, like everywhere I go, you're just going to like walk into me. Why? Stop it. Stop it. Rude. Do they look shorter to you? Why does he look so short? Is that me? Is that my perspective? Let me pay your flight and pay you to watch my dog and let you live in my house. I know. I know. Trust is not something you can buy. That's true too. He does know that I'm going to do a good job make you know yeah and there was a retired uh delta person 
that basically they used to fly to watch the dog for a week while he could then go with his wife and they would just take off for a week and go whatever and they didn't have to worry about it the house is safe there's somebody there uh, the dog is taken care of the dog gets out for walks and you know all of that and you're, you're not wrong Mel having somebody you can trust is is pretty important but um yeah he responded to me before stream I saw the notification and I, I haven't had a chance to read it yet or respond or confirm but I think I'm going to be a traveling dog walker. <laughs> like, what is going on? What is that all about? I'm telling you, open yourselves up to some positivity. Put positivity, put good things out there. And all of a sudden, like, things come back to you. Things things will circle around. The, the world's full of positive things. You got to ask what type of dog. I have no idea. Last time I saw him, he was just a big gray thing. Kind of like um, like a medium size, medium to large, but I think he's a mutt. You want to ask what what country, which half? Yeah, it's in the United States uh, in a place. Hang on, find it on Google because I don't actually know what state it's in. Michigan. That's not on the right side, is it? That's not the right side of the country, is it? It's in Michigan. I don't want to dox him or anything or, or like give too many details. It's not my house. So I don't know what it kind of dog. A gray mutt looking kind of thing. Michigan's not too far. No, it's not. I don't think it's too far. I think it's East Coast ish. I don't. And I apologize to the Americans in the house because I am really bad at geography, like very, even Canadian geography. I'm bad. I'm very bad. I cannot do all of the provinces and territories like across. I'm pretty sure. Seriously, seriously. What is your deal? What is your deal? Okay, I'm sorry. No, you're, you're right. You're right. It's, it's, it's your space as well. You can feel free to walk here. I'm just looking for a block there, Mr. Dude. I'm looking for an amethyst that has not been harvested. Or rather, that, that I broke, like, not this. The actual shard. So I think we may need to go to... It's in the Great Lakes, close to the Great Lakes. Okay, it's way closer to you than to me. Yeah, you're all the way out on the other side. Sorry, Hex, it's not good. But, I mean, there's definitely definitely travel and things are happening in my life these days. Things are, are changing and happening. I don't know why, but I'm gonna keep rolling with it. I'm gonna keep rolling with it. I realize I'm over the break time for mods who are probably like, Hoser, Hoser, Hoser. I know, I know, I know. We're gonna run a little late because of all of the uh, of the stuff that's been going on, but I will be taking the break soon-ish, soon-ish. Can I find close to you, two, three hours away? Maybe we'll do like a Hoser Con thing again. Okay, okay, I'm pretty sure. Let's go for a boat ride. Because it's not at spawn, but it's not far from... It's like when we used to take the boat to go to spawn before we had portals and everything. There is... We have a cave somewhere. Where we had some amethyst crystals. And I can go and get a single small little shard. I'm going to show you what I think is going to work. I'm not sure. I'll grab all three sizes to see if it works. And I don't know if you can push a shard with a sticky piston. Maybe somebody here knows. Can you push shards, amethyst shards, with a sticky piston? Is that possible? Je ne sais pas. I do not know. <laughs> VR, yeah, yeah, let's go. We'll see. You think they break? Hmm. So they can't move at all. Huh. So yes and no. You can push them, but then they break. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Um, if they are on the face of a sticky block and I push the sticky block, I don't know pas savoir. <laughs> Fair enough. You can still touch the... Yeah, no, I, I realize. My idea is I'm gonna pick up the sil I'm gonna silk touch here to pick them up, and then I was hoping to use them and push them with a minecart. 
uh, not a minecart, a, a hopper. Uh, where's the entrance to this little thing? Down here? Hello? Hello? Yes. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to mine basically one of these, and then let it grow back, and then grab a couple of them at different like. Push them with a the hopper. No, I mean I meant the minecart. You know what I meant. Stop. You're not my real dad. Leave me alone. <laughs> what the heck? No, we were supposed to go on break. What's going on? We're supposed to go on break. <laughs> Kyle, what are you doing? Bun Bun. Bun Bun, how you doing? Hey, Bun Bun, you got gifted a sub not too long ago. Welcome back, Captain Bordas. Actually, Captain Bordas is the one who gifted the sub to, to Bun Bun. How you doing? You got to run. Wife asked for a short stream. Have a good night, you hosers. Thanks, Kyle. I appreciate that. Welcome, people. I would ask what you were doing, but I know what Kyle was doing. Well, maybe we'll go see. Thanks, little hoser. Shush. <laughs> uh, he's a great little bot. Don't make fun of my bot. He's great. He sent you a message. He's so nice. Hey, King Elfie's here. How's it going? King Elfie, I bought some shulkers. I bought some shulkers, and I was sad that I don't have 25 uh, enough to buy the special deal. I 100% would have done it. I 100% would have done it. I just don't have enough. I don't have enough. Smash that refresh, then follow. I appreciate that. Yeah, if you want to, if you're ever raiding with somebody and you want to like actually count as a viewer, you have to hit the refresh button so that you actually like show up in the counting of algorithms and thing. No pressure, but I'll just hang here and do nothing for a little bit while you all refresh. <laughs> Time to go mining. You're not wrong. We almost changed the title of the stream and went for a mining stream. It was close. It was close. <laughs> we did. I was like, no, no, we can't. We can't. But I really want to. So I'm going to go mining soon, I hope. Mine all the purple blocks. Nothing could go wrong. Yeah, nothing at all could go wrong. I play with a lot of other people, Vortis. I feel like some people might be upset with me if I did that. But while I'm here... carefully do this Woo! mistakes have been made <laughs> yeah Emilia mine all of the purple blocks totally the way to do things don't make fun of Emilia she didn't know she didn't know it's not her fault there's no way to make these things like grow faster. So we basically just have to chill here for a little bit while they grow back and then try to get all of the different sizes. So I'm just gonna hang here and watch this little part while we chat. Or you can click on Hoser's character's face to refresh without losing chat. You can? What? Eh, what do you mean, what? Oh, I know. I'm going to have to go on break, but I don't want to go on break now because the, how, how long do these take to grow? They'll be grown by the time I get back, and then I have to mine them again. Mel, what do you mean click on my face? I mean, I know you don't mean this face, but where? Oh, see? Look, help. Look. That was... Whew. So we got one of the ones that I wanted. Did I pick it up? I did not. Where is it? Gimme. 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 Where did you go? Where'd it go? No, don't lose it. Uh. There it is. Okay, so we got one of the small ones. See, if I left he Hex, I would have missed it. So we gotta wait for this one to grow just to, to the second level. They take a while. That didn't take that long. Clicking all over my face. Click, 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 click. On the avatar? Like, somewhere in there? I'm not even sure how you do it, but... Mel seems to know. I like this tune. You're going to send a screenshot in Discord. Awesome. Thank you. Useful. 
because then I will know and I might be able to explain it to people if I know what you're talking about. That's very cool though. Ellie's clipping. <laughs> Why is it when I... Oh, yeah, well. Eh, I'm on the interwebs, so go for it. It's just a good tune. It's got a good beat to it. See, that one grew really fast, but then it's sort of slowed down. But I'm not leaving until we get the sizes that we need. And we can go on break later. It can happen later. I used to go six hours and I would break after three hours. So I could do a little bit longer without a break. But it's going like four or five hours without breaking one string the entire stream. That's too much. So did Ky anybody who was with Kyle stream, if you're still here, did he finish? Did he do things? 68, oh, we've got some googly googly hexapedia. 68.27 seconds, uh, random ticks. 20% chance of growth. Four growth sides. Blah, 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 blah. Average, two hours, 16 minutes, 32 seconds. Wait, are you saying on average it grows, it takes two hours to grow? And we got one in like 30 seconds and we're just really lucky, is that what you're saying? Here's an opportunity for another Hoser's Life story. I had an Up With People song stuck in my head all week. I'm the painter of the sky. Oh yes. I'm the painter of the sky. I something, that wasn't my part. I sang the, I was the lightning king what is this in the show. for water? We're really on the hydration today. It's how long it takes to go to full size. Well, I, I'm thinking I could use just the one anyway. I've got two sizes now. How many sizes are there? Four growth stages. So the little one that I've got, two, three, and then full. So I need size two and three right now, basically. So I'm going to wait for this one to grow to size two. Above the clouds I fly. Uh, do you remember the lyrics, actually? I was the lightning king. So basically, it was this cheesy thing. We were all trying to make the kids in the audience, like, pay attention to the environment, take care of things, yada, yada, yada. And we had, like, an Elvis character. And then we had the painter of the sky drinking water. Uh -huh. Thank you for being here, Ellie. Thank you for all the bits as well and the support. I truly appreciate it. Have a fantastic night's sleep. Say hi to Multicaster for us. Buona notte. 3.30 a.m. Yes, you do need to go to bed. <laughs> go sleep. Go sleep. I wonder if I should just take out a whole bunch of these so that, like, the random tick might help in different places. <gasps> That's a tiny one, right? That's a tiny one still. But yeah, I was the Lightning King. And so I am, um, I am the Lightning King. King of Lightning is my name, and Frightening is my game. Oh, why? I guess it's because I'm just that kind of guy. Yeah, it was one of those songs. It was kind of dorky. It was very dorky. <laughs> the Light, and I used to have to scare the kids. So like there were there was a scene we'd bring all the kids up onto the stage people from this show the, the up with people show that I was in some of you might remember 150 plus people from 23 different countries 17 to 27 years old we were all over the world for a year this is why I've done a lot of the travel that I've done things like that well we were basically um, at that point in the show, some people would sneak out into the audience and go get young kids that wanted to show up seven to, you know, 10 ish, not teens. Cause yeah, but young, old enough that they would want to come up to the on stage, but not too old kind of thing. So anywhere in that range kind of thing, maybe five to 10, something like that. <laughs> You're doing art bun bun. Well, <laughs> that's on you. <laughs> oh my goodness. But I appreciate you hanging out, but don't feel any pressure. If you need to sleep, like, go take care of yourself. Get the rest. But if you're doing art because you can't sleep, I, you're welcome to hang out and lurk here with us while you're doing art. And then you can post it in the art channel on our Discord because we love it when people share their art on the Discord. It's a lot of nice stuff. People paint, sculpt, draw, sketch, all kinds of stuff. Anyway, 
So people, they would invite these kids up on stage, 10 little kids on stage sitting there. And I came out and it was like dark and like lightning and flashing lights and then the lightning king, a frightening thing am I? And I was all like, I had crazy spiked hair. My hair was long at the time. And I used to spend a solid five minutes five real minutes with my head on the side on a table backstage while a bunch of people would like hairspray so that my hair would stand up straight on spikes because I was in the band and I didn't have the spiky hair the whole show I would play the guitar and then I would disappear backstage change into costume they would spike my hair up like crazy and then I'd come out and I'd have this crazy mohawk <laughs> and I was singing like scary songs to the kids and then I would boo stomp on the stage when the lightning would strike and all scare all the kids and then other characters would come along and like pull me away and be like hey don't be mean and all kinds of it was for the kids right and there was one time where when I got up close to the kids I was like and the stomp thing and I went stomp and I had stomp right on a little kid's foot and he was just looking at me like and I looked at him like Ooh, but I was in the middle of a show. I couldn't stop. So I just like, oh, sorry. <laughs> I just kept going. <laughs> I didn't like hurt his foot, but I like the toe of my toe kind of hit his toe. And the kid just, <laughs> I felt so bad. Oh, I felt so bad. Uh, that's been like 30 years almost. And I still feel that. I still feel it when I stomp that kid's foot. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, it did. No, I'm not a jerk. I'm a really nice person. Uh, given that my day job is afternoon and evenings, my sleep schedule is wonky at best. Ah, fair. Join the club. We've got a lot of wonky sleep schedule people all up in here or up over there. If you're watching the VOD, the VOD people we're talking about chat is over there, but Twitch people chat is over here. Do the thing. That kid is now an adult with trauma. Yeah. Probably, probably terrified of people with mohawks. <laughs> I really didn't mean to. Uh, anyway, <sighs> King Elfie definitely don't have a wonky schedule. Well, nope, not me, not me. Everybody's gonna be like, I feel called out. <laughs> Hoser for real acting like every human who steps on a doggo's foot. Doggo no remember, but the human adult never forgets. Scared of thunder and lightning as well. True, yeah. You're not wrong, Hex. I feel I feel way bad about it. That kid probably doesn't even remember. Or maybe is terribly trauma traumatized and is afraid of lightning. People with mohawks. <laughs> All of those combined. Poor kid. Well, poor kid. Kid's an adult now. 30 years ago. <laughs> He's older than a lot of you at this point. Maybe he is one of you. <gasps> Could you imagine? That would be so weird. I tell that story and somebody goes, that was me. And I know that all of you are going to go, it was me. But no, I know it's not you. I know it's not you. My goodness. Okay. Um, whenever a thunderstorm starts, he hides his feet. <laughs> VR, that was me. Of course it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Harvesting while waiting so that next time you need shards, you'll have, you're not wrong, Mel. I'm sitting here thinking I should be doing something and you're not wrong. Let's, let's do this. You're, you're an excellent mod. Thank you very much for being better at the game than I am. <laughs> Just make sure I'm aiming into empty space so I don't actually break anything important. Hoser, what? Break also. I know, break also. I know, I know, I know. I'm, I'm not forgetting. I'm not forgetting. But I'm being very careful and I'm going to collect some. Ooh, see, see, this is why I'm staying. Because like one of these is going to grow to size two and then I'm going to miss it. I'm going to be really sad. Hex is going to explode. I know, but I mean, I mean, I could take a break and then do an hour. And maybe we go a little bit later tonight. It's Friday. I didn't stream on Wednesday. Maybe we do a little bit more of a stream today. Maybe. I'm feeling okay. 
I appreciate your concern, though. I do. Do you need to take a break? You can definitely go take a break if you need to take a break. You can go take a break. Hey, Pick, how you doing? Good to see you again. Welcome back. Maybe, maybe, right? You never know. So we'll go on break and then maybe we do like an hour and a half, you know? Or maybe. Sit up straight, you what? hoser. Oh my goodness, Vortis, you're not my real dad. Boy. <laughs> oh, Vortis is going in with the points. I really do have to get that tsunami thing done. That would be so funny. But the thing is, it has to be, it's such a complicated calculation that it has to know which sounds are active because I have a rolling list of different sounds, but basically it would be able to tell which sounds are active. The person claimed them all within a sorted amount of time and then activate the animation. I've never been able to figure out the, the, the logic for it. Dar Weebrista, hey, I know that name. How you doing? One of the hundred. Remember I was talking about stuff? Darwi is gonna be one of them. You know yourself and your schedule. If you can go longer and want to, go for it. Darwi, nice, thanks for popping in. Darwi's gonna be there too. Darwi's gonna be there too. Shh, secret, secret, don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody, but tell everybody. <laughs> what are we doing tonight? We're working on the redstone, my friend. We are working on the redstone, but I am also here to try and harvest some of these things because I need to try and figure out how to push something, a minecart, only a little bit only a little bit and i want it to sit on top of half of the rail and half not i did nothing wrong you have no witnesses there's no proof completely not guilty love these see you <laughs> yes 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 it's gonna be awesome keep an eye out on twitter for uh for the information on what's happening and where and stuff and uh i'll be posting a little bit more information as we go Maybe even, maybe even if people, if I talk to them and they're okay with me, you know, saying who's going to be there and stuff, like, I'll tell, you know, little, little leaking of information, little sneak peeks things. We'll see. We'll see. I need to ask permission from people. But yeah, pick, I'm basically working on some redstone and then I'm looking to harvest the ones that are, the, we've got one of the level ones and we've obviously got the level fours. I'm waiting for them to grow so I get a level two and a level three. And I'm well over the break time. Everybody's super panicked but I'm okay. I'm basically, we're just gonna be here for a little bit longer. And yeah, 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 yeah. You can't wait. Butterbear sees everything. True, Butterbear does. Butterbear is kind of very scary with how quick they see things. Is it the thing? It's the thing. King Elfie is also in the thing. Shh, don't tell anybody. Shh, secret. Secret, shh. But also maybe. <laughs> I'm totally leaking all of your information. I'm like, eee, you should. We did ask. I asked permission. I asked permission, and they said, yeah, yeah, go ahead, start talking about it. So, so that's why I've started. I asked. I asked permission. <laughs> your poor dog. Why? Oh, because of the bells. Is it the the ringing, dinging sound that is driving your dog crazy? I apologize. I hear a super quiet, soft whine, and I call him nothing. So I get up and walk to the other side of the room, and he's locked himself in his enclosed space. Oh, <laughs> nothing to do with the sounds. I thought the sounds were making him go bonkers. He accidentally locked himself into his spot. Oh, what a goof. Did you save him? Did you rescue your dog? I mean, obviously you did, but good job. So if anybody spots one that grows, grows to level two, wait, no. Let me know, right? You'll, you'll be like screaming in chat. And I'll be like, where, where? It'll be very confusing. You did? Good job. Good job, Hex. Good job. He's very happy. Happy Eric. He's a good boy. Hmm. Can I get that one? Yes, I can. I'm probably going to fill up pretty quick, but now I have shelters. <gasps> I am so smart. SMRT. Boom, boom, boom. So yeah, so normally for people who don't know and who are wondering, I would stream from 7 p.m. until 11 p.m. on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 
and then like a break around 9 p.m. ish, which we have kind of steamrolled because of all the raids and the things that were happening, the hype train and all that stuff. So it was like, mm, I can't just like get up and leave now. But we are going to take a break around, I would say maybe 10 to 10. So like in another 10 ish minutes, 10, 15 minutes, maybe around 10 o'clock. Um, we'll take 10 minutes, stretch, get some snacks. If you've got snacks, get some water, you know, do the hang. I'll hang from the bar for a little bit, which always feels really good. And then come back and probably run a little bit late tonight. Cause you know what? It's Friday. Whoa, Darwi, thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. Look at that. You have a cat. <laughs> nice to put a face to the name. What time zone are you in? I'm in the East coast. I'm in Montreal, Canada. True for anybody who doesn't know the big hoser, Montreal, Canada. How you doing? If you want to tell me where you're from, I love languages and culture and travel and stuff. Share, let me know. Super interesting. I may have been where you live. I mean, not like at your house or anything. That would be weird. But like I've traveled to 17 different countries. Maybe I've been to yours. I've done a lot of the states too. Or you can tell me, hey, that's none of your business. Go jump in a lake, you hoser. You love the kitties. Ah, you're born in Maine. Nice living. Oh. Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plain. Been all over the U.S. Nice. Maine is not far at all. I've been through Maine quite a bit. Oklahoma, less so. But Maine, a lot. Pick question of the day. Yes. Do it. We're ready. And thanks for popping in, Darby. I appreciate that. Oh, baby. Let's go. All right. Question of the day. Incoming. Incoming question of the day. Hmm. Trying to do this really safely because I've got, you know, efficiency five on the pick and I don't want to accidentally like break everything. Uh, so we're going real slow here, but also I spend most of my time chatting to people and occasionally I play Minecraft. <laughs> my, well, I've been dubbed chill with a side of Minecraft is pretty much the stream. Chill with a side of Minecraft. That's, that's hanging out with Hoser. Sometimes we play the game. Sometimes. <laughs> Sorry you were on, wanted to check it out. Bring it on, pick. Bring on the question. Let's go. I appreciate it, though. I appreciate it. And it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. <gasps> Ooh, I just saw it. Oh, baby. That's a level two, right? That's a level two. Can I see it from the info thing? I don't think I can, but that's a level two, right? That's a level two. Cause that looks, that looks different than that one. That's the tiny. Yeah, that's a level two. Okay. We got our first level two. So we got a one, two. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Nelly Furtado. We're going, we're going. One, two, we need a three. It said medium. Oh my goodness. You saw it and I didn't. It does. It says when you look at it, small amethyst. There it is. I wasn't even looking. Block ID, small. What's the, that's just an amethyst cluster. So it'd be small, medium, large, and then amethyst cluster. So I basically, I need a large one now. Okay. Thanks, Elfie. You know things. I don't know things. Um, you live long enough to get shulkers more than what I do. Oh, yeah, but we're, I'm not on a, this isn't hardcore. This is definitely not hardcore. This is an SMP with a whole bunch of other people. Uh, King Elfie being one of the, shh, don't say anything, shh, stupid people. So, yeah, this is our, this is Pleasant Craft SMP. So we're a bunch of content creators that play on here. There's like, I don't know, 15 of us now or something. And I don't play hardcore. Like, I don't. I don't, I think I've played one game of hardcore and basically I died, lost my base and I was like, well, I don't like that. That's, that's stupid. I don't want to do that again. I build things. I like keeping my builds. And so I kind of never play hardcore. Never. I'm going to die on day one. I'm going to die on day one. King Elfie likes it. What's SMP? Survival multiplayer. Oh, Hex already answered. I, why do I answer questions? Obviously, somebody would have answered that faster. <laughs> it means survival multiplayer, so that there's we're all in survival, but it's a multiplayer server. So it's not like hardcore, where hardcore means you die, that's it. The world is gone. You can't go back to it. You die once, 
game over, start over, no more. And yeah, I basically, I build big things and I like played hardcore, built some stuff and then died. And I was like, all my stuff gone? No, I don't like that. <laughs> Me no likey. Oh, hardcore is fun. No, I don't, I tried set foot through the portal and died in two seconds. My goodness, do we have community farms here? Yes, we do, but we're, we're also like the, some of it is community and then there's also shopping district, which we can go check out in a little bit. As soon as I find that third one, we'll go check out the some of the community builds. I'll show you the spawn area in our shopping district. Small. I feel like it's gonna be over here. It's gonna be one of these ones that we got early. This guy's real slow. Keep an eye out. If anybody sees one that they, that, there we go. There's the medium, right? There's a medium. Whenever you're there anyway, I'm chill. Well, we're going to be going back that way probably because we've got the boat and we can just zip over. Move my camera slower so everybody can take a look. If anybody spots one that I'm not seeing, get all crazy in chat. Get all crazy in chat. Um, oh, thank you for the links to the YouTube and all. Okay, yeah, so I used to stream five days a week and everybody's like, Holzer, you should be doing this full time. It's good stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, okay, well, ah, I could try. Like, uh, how do you, I got to get into the YouTube and the Instagrams and the tweets and the Twitters. I got to do all this stuff. So instead of streaming five days a week, I dropped that down to three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But then I'm trying to be like really responsible and every Tuesday, so Monday stream seven. I put it up on Tuesday, 7 p.m. It launches 7 p.m. It's scheduled. It's got. I'm trying to work, you know, thumbnails and and do the end screen things and and commenting and replying and liking and being engagement there. So I'm really trying to be like on the ball and learn how to YouTube's because I don't really. But so far, people have been very supportive and I really appreciate it. We're getting more watch hours and subscribers. I think that we started at like, what, eight, six or eight subscribers or something. And now it's like 91, 91 in three weeks. Very crazy. And that's all because of all of you. So thank you all very much. You're all very awesome. You're all very awesome. And so slowly but surely, we are making our way to the YouTube stuff. So Monday stream goes up on Tuesday and then Wednesday stream goes up Thursday, 7 p.m scheduled all the things and then friday goes up saturday 7 p.m except when i miss a stream on a wednesday and then the bot says on thursday there's a new video and there's no new video and then i'm embarrassed because i did a boo-boo and i didn't do the pro youtube thing and cancel the announcement about the vod that didn't actually show up because there was no stream yeah i'm still learning i'm still learning it's still learning all right okay question of the day is you know every language but you messed up one every of every 10 words you say and you can choose one language to be perfect at would you do it <gasps> i saw this thing go that's a medium that's a medium it, it like in my peripheral vision i saw it move okay so wait the screen is in the way you know every language, but you mess up one in 10 words you say, and you can choose one language that you would be perfect at, would you do it? A hundred percent. Every language and I'm only messing up 10% of the time? Yeah, a hundred percent. Because you would be able to communicate most of everything and every once in a while you would mess up. As somebody who studied a lot of languages and has made a lot of mistakes, you can get by, you can totally get by. I've always, when I was teaching languages, would tell people, it doesn't matter if you conjugate the verbs properly, if your tenses are wrong, focus on your pronunciation, your sound, make sure that they know what word you're trying to use. Because if somebody says in English, um, I'm gonna do this yesterday, and they're like, what? You don't understand anything. It's all mumbled, poor pronunciation and everything. But if I say, I go to store yesterday, you say, oh, you went to the store yesterday. And then I go, yeah, 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 right? You can easily correct. If you know what the words that they're trying to use are, it's easy to correct. But if you have no idea what the person, like what words they were trying to say, very hard, even if their grammar and their syntax is perfect, if the pronunciation isn't there, 
It's very hard, very hard. So I 100% would do that. Yes, yes, yes. Every language in the world. Perfect, Kenya, everything else with mess ups. I'm fine with that. What is it? Vortis wanted French. I mess up one in 10 words. Just speak in English. There you go. <laughs> Word spiking English. Nicely done, Vortis. Thal, you would want to be perfect in French? Yeah, Thal, you'd want to be perfect in French? Cool. Check the butt on the bottom. I think that's also a medium. So we got it mediums and mediums, but I'm with you. I think these are the ones that are going to go. Like this doesn't seem to have grown. That's still small. Ooh, th that's a small. And now I'm afraid of like walking away because we're chatting. I'm getting distracted. These are all smalls. One of these is going to go. Come on. Come on. One of these. There or there. One of these two. For sure. For sure. For sure. For sure, buddy. For sure. Uh, um, wow. Oh, it depends. Staying here. Spanish. Cape Breton. French. Sweden. Swedish. Oh, you choose depending on where you are. Ariel messes up words when she speaks to herself. Zoe, what's happening? We're trying to mine one of every size. <gasps> oh, I got really excited because I saw it, but that's a medium as well. Yeah, I'm trying to find, we're just waiting for one of these mediums to turn into a large and then I've got it. Then we got to go back to spawn, show off the spawn area for a little bit and then take a break. And we're going to be late on the break. Everybody relax. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. I just need one of these to grow to a large Keeping an eye on it. I'm trying to watch chat while also see if you see it what while I'm not four, paying four, attention. Four, 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 oh, four, four, great. Four, four, sure, four, four, make four, four, me drink four, four, more water. <clears throat> Fine. I I mean, no, we're going to be late. It, for, I said 10, but probably not going to be 10 because we're going to have to go show spawn. And so it's probably going to be after 10. But anyway. Darwi has a degree in, in teaching up English straight, and flubs. Poser. There you go. <laughs> I am sitting up straight, pick. You're not my real dad. Um, Thal just loves the sound of the language. I'm not very fluent, but I could listen to it all day. Oh, on va parler en français toute la journée avec toi, Thalame, et tu vas apprendre. Ça va être fantastique. Um, as a Swede, I can only say that Swedish is surprisingly hard to learn. The only things I remember are min lila svenska flicka. And uh, that might be you, or you might be min lila svenska poika. Or... If you don't want to be either of those, I'm just going to call you Min Lila Svenska Grude. I know some Swedish. That's about it. A break. You can't handle the break. I'm drinking the water. Thank you for making this harder to not take the break. Swedish is hard. You tried to learn on Duolingo. Nice. I'm currently learning uh, Korean on Duolingo. Elfie's attempting to learn Swedish. Nice. There's a lot of interest in Swedish. Where's Emilia when you need it? You need her. She speaks Swedish. She is Swedish. Vortis is learning Duolingo on Spanish. Right on. How many other language learners do we have? I actually majored in Italian. I minored in Spanish. So I did a modern languages and, and linguistics degree. Hey, Emilia is there. Everybody's learning Swedish on Duolingo, Emilia. Yay. But I was, uh, yeah, modern languages and linguistics. I majored in Italian. I minored in Spanish. And I studied uh, German, Russian, English, French, obviously. And um, uh, I did some Mandarin, but I totally lost that. You don't want to be a frog. Uh, my pronunciation was good enough for people to understand. Nice. You started Italian a while ago, Mel, right on. Questo è il mio preferito de tutte le lingue che parlo. Italian is tan, tanto bello. I blame our three extra letters. The, uh, 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 all those letters that I don't know how to pronounce. <laughs> Vortis learned German in high school. Swahili on a three-month Africa visit in 96 and now Spanish, but hoping to actually become fluent right on. Elfie doesn't want to speak baguette. Oh, shots fired. Shots fired. Elfie lives in Ontario. Ontario, Ontario, which is our neighbor to the west. It's okay that they say speak baguette. We have a little, like, Ontario and Quebec have a <laughs> little rivalry going. Ariel speaks French, English, Quebecer, New Phoenice, and sarcasm. New Phoenice. Oh, you little. It's always the wrong one. 
I keep thinking we've got one that goes to large, but come on, one of these mediums, one of these mediums is gonna go. Everybody keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on him. Make sure I don't miss it while I'm reading chat. And innuendo, hey. Oh, you funny, you so funny. Fortis works in IT, speak, I speak English, typo, upside down, backwards, and I swear I rebooted yesterday through the great translation service of System Uptime. I used to do tech support. There's a reason I do not anymore. Can't do it, can't do it. 20 years of clerical and I can read doctor. There you go. I'm sure that you're perfectly fluent in sarcasm. I'm, Ariel is perfectly fluent. I'm also a little bit, I've, I've spoken some sarcasm in my day. I won't say I'm fluent, but you know. Hex is having a moment, what? I downloaded Duolingo again and it's changed so much. It has, yeah, they changed a lot. It really did go through a really big update. Elfie, if you were counting language, computer languages, you know 10 or so. True. How's that bot? Are you actually going to be working on the bot thing that you were talking about in the meeting? Oh, sorry. I was being sarcastic. <laughs> Hoser is fluent in jump scare. Yeah. I understand it very well. I don't speak it very much. But I certainly understand it. Poop my pants. I'm just trying to watch these amethysts at the same time. You are working on it in your downtime? Sweet. That's going to be very cool. I mean, obviously, no pressure. I'm just super curious to see what you come up with because it'll be fun. Uh, Mel says, I try to speak French and I baragouin in English. That's a great word. Mel does speak French. She's being silly. Ariel loves it. I used to work at customer service in a call center. I also understand 1D10T. We used to call it the uh, Rule 18, or it's a Code 18 when I was in tech support. Code 18. And they're like, oh, yeah, it's a Code 18. And I talked to the other tech support so that we wouldn't tell the person. And I'm like, oh, Code 18. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll get back to you. I'll, I'll be able to, I'll, I'll come back. Basically, it was the, uh, the 18 inches between the keyboard and the chair. That's where the problem was. The user. So we called it a Code 18. That was our tech support. Uh, have you checked the crystal growing like up and to your left? Up here-ish? This one maybe? That one's a medium as well. I mean, there's a lot now. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Ariel. I'm trying. They're not growing. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. I feel like... Oh, I moved. Where was I watching? Because there was there was a bunch where I was watching. Okay, here, yeah. I feel like right here we've got a medium, a medium. That just went to medium. No, that's still a small. That's a medium. This is medium. And this is medium as well. That's a small. So I feel like, I feel like I've got four or five here that are like pretty close. And these have been the longest ones that we've been using. That's medium underneath as well. Maybe they're plastic. Psh, no. Um, replace office chair insert. There you go. <laughs> uh, Pebcac is the same as your code 18. Problem exists between keyboard and chair. Okay, Pebcac. Oh, nice. Hey, Pod. How you doing? Good to see you again. What is new and exciting, my friend? How are you? We're sitting around talking and waiting for things to grow. <laughs> it's a very slow process and I'm very much over the break time uh, that I normally go at we're we're not even going to make it for 10 we'll, we'll, as soon as I get this last one I swear we're going to go on break I swear well we have to go look at spawn first but then also break or maybe we'll just take a break in here and go look at spawn on our way out kind of thing that might make more sense and we're pestering Hoser for his break yes that too that too you went out for dumplings it was very good nice darwi's confirming break and spawn yet yeah, i appreciate that darwi since we're, we're showing spawn to you it's very kind of you to say that i probably think that's a good idea and thank you for saying that uh medium medium 
medium, medium. Come on, medium. Just need one large. Because I, I don't want to go all the way back to the redstone farm that we're working on in the nether and then have it, the realization that, oh, the one I need is this one that I didn't get. Come on, come on. That would be so ridiculous. Lizard's been lurking, by the way. Had breakfast for dinner. Nice. I appreciate the lurk. You had a 141 day streak before you gave up. Mm. I'm on 375 days right now for Korean. I'm pretty much at the point where I know a handful of words. <gasps> wait, wait, what grew down here? No, it became a medium. It just became a medium. Oh, come on. It's every time I see something move, I go into like full panic mode. Go, is that it? Is that the one? Is that the one? <gasps> Your shop at spawn is taking shape. Nice. Oh, that's on the other server. Yeah, I play on two different servers, by the way. One with the, all of these, the content creators like King Elfie, Domini, Viking Pilot, uh, uh, Kafers, now named Art Artemis, Ducky, T, uh, uh, Milkman, K uh, Kyle, who's here earlier, and Kale, bunch of people. I I'm missing some. But I also play on another server with all of the, what we call the Hoser Maniacs, the, the community server, where I've been playing on that community server for nine years or something now. And so, yeah, a lot of these people play on the server that I also play on over there, for those who don't know. Um, and they were delicious dumplings. I'm very jealous. It sounds lovely and delicious. Would you have, what was your breakfast, Lizard? Or the dinner that was a breakfast? More details are required. Darby says, you're welcome. Very flexible. You get there at some point. I'll see what, uh, when that happens. Yeah, we definitely will. Definitely will. As soon as we get one of these to go large, we just hide in the walls for a little bit, take a break, come back, take the boat, go to spawn, show off spawn, go into the nether, fly up to the nether, uh, the barter farm, try and see if this trick that I want to do works. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Ariel, are you off to bed? Different stream, and then Dodo do a different stream. She's going to the washroom. Ah, funny. Thanks for being here, Ariel. And I'll talk to you soon. And we'll definitely talk about the videos and stuff because, yeah, you're gonna see. I wanna, I want people to see those. I want people to see those. Pod, what are you gonna be selling? A spoopy shop selling cobwebs heads mushrooms etc nice a spoopy shop <laughs> cool darwi had a burger from a local place what do you put on your burger oh we need some details we need details lizard had bacon strips over easy eggs some cheese and hash brown patties Man, all things i love can't do a lot of those things anymore cheese for the hashies to add sour cream and make breakfast baked potato oh fancy pants fancy pants look at you that sounds delicious many of those things would now kill me um but delicious delicious and breakfast for dinner is always really good ketchup you eat the veggies separate i'm a person of simple tastes <laughs> nice me mustard i can just just mustard on everything mustard just mustard mustard i used to like relish as well but i'm diabetic got diagnosed last year late late onset diabetes and can't have gar uh, relish because too much sugar but yeah relish and mustard with some hot sauce maybe mm, yum i'm getting very hungry my mouth's starting to water <laughs> breakfast is so good i know and i'm really hungry oh well that was the dumbest but oddly fulfilling hardship i just endured what what happened what did you do Uh, hash browns are the best. I always get sad when I go out for breakfast and they have breakfast potatoes and not hash browns. I really, really like, really, really like the hash browns. And when I used to eat, like we used to very rarely go to McDonald's, very rarely. But when we go on road trips, we were traveling anywhere with the family, we would stop at McDonald's. It was like a thing. It was either the Big Mac, the chicken nuggets, or if it was the breakfast time, it was like a, one of the Egg McMuffin things. And I always ordered one or two extra hash browns like 
love those. They're so greasy. They're so bad for you. They're so bad for you. But they're so good. Nom, 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 nom. Anyway. Uh, Darby loves the good hash browns. Me too. Me too. We went from no power to coal power in Satisfactory. Totally skipping biofuel power. Oh, wow. Biofuel is the easy one where you chop down all the trees and stuff. That must have been a heck of a grind to get to the coal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my. And lasagna is delicious. You make your own lasagna? Nice. I can't do cheese. The whole dairy thing for me is as well as a problem. So I'm, I'm a complicated eater these days. I'm super lactose intolerant. I have been for a long time. And just this past year found out, oh, diabetes as well. So now, like, everybody talks about all kinds of foods that I, I used to eat. And now I can't. Now you're just a food that I used to know. Oh! Large! Oh, I almost did with the, the... Wait, wait. Silk touch. Silk touch. Oh! Wow. We got it. We got it. All four. Woo! <laughs> I'm so glad I was paying attention. I looked over for like a quick second. I was like looking at chat and something caught my eyes. Like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> what is this? Four, 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 oh, and another one on the way out. Four, water. Why not? We'll drink some more water. I have a little bit left in here. Shaky, shaky water. One more. Ah, thank you all for that. Patience is amazing. Extra crispy hash browns, please. But I like my bacon fatty. You're weird. I like the crispy bacon. So not too burnt, but like crispy. All right, everybody, I'm going to be taking the break. 10 minutes. We're way off schedule. 10 minutes. You should also do something. I know a lot of you don't. Sometimes you'll just hang out here and like chat all the time. But seriously, go get some water. Go to the washroom. Do a little stretching. Just move yourself around. You know, if you've been lying down on this side for a couple hours, just just roll over to this side maybe for a little bit. You know, give your spine a chance. Give your spine a chance. There's a large one down there, Thal. I mean, if you said it before I saw it, fantastic. Thank you for that, for paying attention. I also did catch it out of the corner of my eye. So GG to all of us. We got it. Um, all right. All right. I'm going on break. I'm going to hide. I'm going to hide. I don't know if this is like super spawn proof or anything. Oh, yeah, that's that's definitely a bad idea. Let's uh, Let's not go there. So yeah, we're just gonna just just right in here. Just just build a little just a little hidey hole right here. Whee! You went on a break, don't judge you. I'm not judging you. Everybody go on break. Go get something to snack on, maybe. Or refill some water. Or some tea or coffee if that's what you're into right now. But seriously, do something good for yourself. Uh, we'll turn up the music a little bit so you can have some tunes while we're gone. Oop. And yeah, I will be back. 10 minutes. I don't know if the BRB screen is going to work because remember at the beginning with the screen. Hmm. What's this for? For, 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 for coffee? Can you imagine if people just made me drink coffee all the time? I'd be bouncing off the boy. wall. And a boy for you to pick. I saw the word large when you were moving your mouse around, but you saw it before you could actually hit enter. Oh, nice. Oh, it's, you saw it skip on the F3 screen up here? Wow, Sit up I? straight, you oh, hoser. Stop it, you're not my real dad. Okay, so I'm gonna go on break. If the B, if the BRB screen doesn't work, I'll pop right back to this screen and we'll just, we'll fake it with the BRB coffee thing because that still works. Um, but we'll see if the actual BRB screen works because my starting soon screen is broken for some reason. I don't know what happens. The music is on. Everybody stretch, do something good. Let's see if this works. It works. I'll see you in 10.
Thank you.
right, we're back. And drop this music down a little touch. Let's hope the buttons all work. Oh my, what is this? Enjoy your new friend. Look down. <laughs> Seriously, even on this server, I can't go on break without nonsense. What am I going to do with Bill? We have to protect Bill. Oh my jeebus. Oh my goodness. How is everybody? How is the break? How is the break? What's going on? Feed Bill. I can, we don't have fish food. Can you feed fish? Wait, is there a Minecraft thing you could feed fish with? So for real, I don't know. Um, if that was an alarm sound, I'd roll out of bed, check to make sure none of my shulkers got blown up, then I wake up. What are we talking about? Let me go back to the chat for a quick second. Uh, wrong window. This window. Do, 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 do. Glorious. Please do it again. I'll do it again. Talk about blurst alarm sound. What are, alarm sounds? Flip two. I live in the country. Gunshots stress me out. Creeper sound. Oh, creeper sound. Ah, yes. Okay. Creeper sounds. Best thing ever. Fast story time. Or was in BC with a bunch of us, but specifically bear. Bear is a creeper sound button. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> yes, I was walking down the street in public. I was on a voice chat, but I was not chatting because it was really windy. So I was just listening to people. I'm walking along and it's snowy and it's icy out there in Montreal. And I'm just kind of walking along and Butterbear went and did the creeper sound thing. And I jumped in the middle of the street and almost slipped because of the snow and the ice. I did not like look around for a creeper. Come on. <laughs> he said not very convincingly, but I did very much. I did very much jump. Also, it was thundering while you were away. <gasps> Ooh, the the Minecraft thunder sounds. I didn't learn. I didn't change any sounds. I didn't ch uh, because I didn't think that I would be. I didn't think people would prank while I was here. Wow, now I'm bouncing. Why am I bouncing so much? Hello? Why was I bouncing? Wait, does a fish make me bounce? Hey, Sally, how's it going? Was it the fish? Why was I bouncing? <laughs> I'm very confused. <laughs> no, but not, I mean, no, it makes you rise up, but not, not bounce. How's it going, Sally? How you doing? Good to see you. I can pick Bill up with my bucket. You're right. Bill, you live in my bucket now. Whoa, wait. Oh, no, wait a second. It makes you bounce as well. But wait, when I put him down, is he still named Bill? Did I just, did I, I mean, I just did, I followed your instructions. Is he still Bill? <gasps> he is. Oh, wait, no, Bill. Oh, my Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I almost killed Bill on stream. Kill Bill, get it? Oh, that would have been bad. Funny, but I didn't mean to, Vortis. I didn't mean to. I saved him. I saved him. Here, here, here. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Let's, let's, let's be careful. Playing my, here you go. Bill's in a safe place. Bill lives in here now. Bill lives in there. Bill's fine. Bill's good. Kill Kenny. <laughs> I love it. Uh, the Canadian reference. Oh, uh, no, actually, that's... Wait, that's uh, that's South Park. Not Kenny from... Okay, I was thinking the other show. Sorry. You killed Kelly! You bastards! <laughs> I don't swear very often, but that's a quote from, like, a TV show. It's okay. <laughs> The Minecraft emote head looks like a Canadian gnome. Say what now? What? The Minecraft emote head. Uh, I am confuddled. What are you talking about? Also, let's get out of here. Let's go check out spawn. Oh, you're not hiding from anybody. Look at you. 
three, twenty four, twenty five. <laughs> I saw you. I walked Hello. away from the keyboard for one second, and you come back. Ah, that's exactly <laughs> when I came back. I caught you. I caught you red handed. He was right in here. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. I love that you're still wearing the duck, by the way. So oh, good. I'm gonna wear the duck forever. Forever, it is good. It's a good one. Yeah, unless I lose the duck, it's staying on my head. Right on. So one of our members, Kale, Kale Hamron, some of you know Kale, he got really, really into the whole block bench thing. And basically one night he was in Discord VC with uh, Mig. They were hanging out and overnight, Kale basically became a block bench master. Oh, thank you, Butter Barrel, drink some water. But yeah, so he like, just makes anything in block bench all the time. Like, Beep, no problem, here we go. And the duck, in honor of Ducky, he made the rubber ducky that we can all wear on our heads. I have one too somewhere in like storage. But yeah, the best there it is. part is if you Beauty. throw it on the ground, it's look at huge. how big it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's so massive. <laughs> Do it again. Do it again. It's so good. And <laughs> <laughs> but look at the shadow. <laughs> I know it's so tiny. <laughs> I love uh, this duck. That's so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so good. I kind of want to say floating in the water. Uh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Rubber man. ducky. Come on. <laughs> that is too good. <laughs> it's so good. That's what King Elfie is wearing. The people are asking. It's the duck. It's the duck. Yep. He also Big made, here, duck. I'll show you the other ones that he made. So he made a whole bunch. He's the one that made, well, he made the Santa hat which I think is a fairly generic one, but he's the one who also made the hoser hat so that I can have my official, my hoser hat. And I'll show you why this is important, everybody. Because I have this hat. This is me. This is me. <laughs> this is my hat. And if I turn my head really fast, you can see the little ear flaps on the sides, right? Like I do the thing. <laughs> this is me when i turned 48 i had to update i had to update the skin to give me some gray hairs in the in the beard because i thought it was about time to to be a little bit more honest with myself you know i've been playing minecraft for a while and yeah there's some gray now do we have friends do we have friends are they my friends or are they your friends they're your uh, friends I think they're my friends oh nice anyway yeah friends. so this is I, I don't wear this very often because it gets really hot really fast but he's made all of us like our own little individual special hats and stuff. I think I forgot the hydration. So let me do that real quick. And then we'll uh, we'll do this. All right, I'm catching up. You can't redeem the water anymore. Don't worry, somebody did. I'm doing it. Uh. Ah, one is toque and one is hat. Oh yeah, I have two of them and I've misnamed them toque and hat. Oh, the emotes, you mean? Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I also uploaded some emo uh, emotes of, well, there you go. Mel done them, of me in the silly hat. But also the animated version. But it's the old it's the old one before he put the flaps in. I'm going to have to try and update that. The one that Sally put in, I think, looks like a hoser gnome cap. Ah, that's the one. Okay, okay, cool. That one is the one that he did in Block Bench, Kale. And then... Um, I, but he updated it. He put the flaps in, and I just haven't redone the image for it. I think I will, though, because I really like them. Except my Minecraft skin has tusks. No, they're not tusks. It's the, that's my beard. Because look. Because look. Look. Gray. Gray. Look. Gray. Look. Where's my... There's my streak. You see the gray? I have to, like... I have to, like, move the hair to certain ways for you to see the silver. But it's in there. It's in there. I have gray hair. I have gray hair now. I'm getting old. He said when he was already very old. Okay, so Bill is safe. Elfie, we're gonna go visit Spawn to show some people the Spawn. I will come with you. Oh, you're joining, let's go. Oh, oh wait, wait, before I get too far, also. Huh, you see the bald spot? I'm honest. <laughs> huh, I got a bald spot. Accept it. All right, Elfie and I, we're gonna That's go visit. That's what the hats were, helmet. Yeah, wear a helmet. I, it's actually called the, my bald spot protector. <laughs> That's what I call my helmet. Uh, 
So we've got, there's a beautiful ship there. This is, that's Kafer's little area right there. Kafer's now known as Artemis, right? So that's her base with the boat and everything. And then uh, we've got Milkman's statue. That's not spawn. Well, technically it's close, but it's not. So all of this here, this is spawn. But yeah, that's, that's Milkman's trident guy statue. I don't know what his name is. Do you know if he has a name? I call him Sad Fish Man. Sad Fish Man? All right, Sad Fish Man it is. Sad Fish Man. <laughs> This is our spawn area where, um, where, where's a good place to, to board? I don't remember where we can uh, board I anymore. He hey, these labs. who are you? A random dude oh, in yeah, the boat. We caught him on day one. <laughs> oh, nice. Cool. He was chasing right. me in King Domedy. <laughs> he was? Right on. Yeah. <laughs> a random goofball in a boat. His <laughs> name is Hoseidon Vortis. No, I can't steal the name. That's that's definitely Milkman's build. I'm not, not naming it a hoser thing. But yeah, so spawn <laughs> started basically over here kyle blaine built this first little area which was welcome weary traveler to food and stuff and he put a nice little area by spawn where if you died you could come get some free food and some free stuff you know basic tools who's still doing stone at that time and everything right right so it's a nice little starting area and then this is the theme that he kind of went with and so we basically like as we've expanded this was a community area for us to to uh to enchant things early on. He put in some like community farms so we could all get stuff started, you know. I then built uh, Big Hoser's Pleasant Poultry Roaster. So if anybody's curious what this is, this is where I donate the redstone machine that makes all of the chicken for people. Down here, the lovely little system that I've got. My favorite, one of my favorite machines using an armor stand timer system that I've got. Kind of designed this myself with the double tick on the redstone. It fires basically a regular chicken cooker, but much faster. So you get a lot more chickens. All the eggs, blah, blah, blah. Cook chickens, up the item elevator. Also, the free feather factory. Fantastic free feather factory. Ooh. Where if this overfills, basically it unlocks itself and then throws all the extra into lava. So there's no overflow. Never have a problem with that. And back up we go. Yo, spooky, a little bit. <laughs> Milkman then took our spawn spot and moved it way up there. We have a jump. Yeah, what's that uh, thing where you do the bucket thing? Uh, MLG? What, like an MLG, yeah. <laughs> an MLG, right? That's what it's called? Okay, so yep. Kafers, now known as Artemis. Give me a second, is that music still on loud? No, it's fine, okay. Um, Kafers built day one an MLG thing where she spawned she spoofed people so she made it look like you were going to get the achievement oh they filled it with water something's happened anyway she made this thing where you get to drop in but it was all scaffolding and eventually milkman was like no nah, get rid of the scaffolding build a plane so you can still attempt your mlg from that little hole up there the leap of faith basically <laughs> yeah from uh assassin's creed and you basically you try to mlg way down from like world height all the way to bottom um okay so going around mig has the b shop right We've got Ducky's Kelp Dispensary, legal in Canada and probably where Ducky lives and we're moving on. Uh, the wool shop down here from Pizza and Mig. Um, this is a barter shop built entirely by Mig, but it's supposed to be a collaboration project between he and I, but I've, we just haven't been able to get our schedules to meet up. So he's done like everything everything i'm doing all of the the redstone stuff in the barter farm as you've seen what we're working on today but he's done all, all of this it's all him and okay oh yeah before we started before we started one of the first things we did was we wanted like in the expo 67 so mel this is design inspired by montreal where we had shipping container houses where everybody built a shipping container of like the same size and we stacked them all on each other so that is that's Kafer's, that's mine, that's Sad Milkman. I uh, know that's Sad Milkman, that's Viking Pilot. Migs is the one hanging from the top here. That is Kyle Blaine, I believe. Where's yours, Elfie? Do you have one? One of the new ones. Um, I don't have one yet. You don't have one yet. Okay. So no. T King Domedy. I think this is King Domedy, right? The one with the veranda we were talking about. Uh, this one is out. Leave. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> this one is ow. <laughs> so this is, I think, King Domedy, right? This one's Lee. 
oh this is lee it's lee please right yeah. lee okay yeah, and, and so T's this is probably i don't know king domedy or or t i'm not sure no. and this vertical one over here right there's ducky ducky did this one yeah this is king domedy and t oh king domedy and t are over here perfect yeah. hey you're like the only one that doesn't have one right now yep yeah you've been doing a lot of building but you you, you miss <laughs> one one thing where are you I gonna put it i haven't found a good design for a crate yet okay well the the footprint's always the same you really just have to kind of figure out your color palette but no pressure no yep. pressure we put like rooftop stone. stuff on them and everything <laughs> sorry go ahead i guess i'll use sandstone to represent my village you could yeah if you want to theme it to your build for sure hmm well the string from my tea let's move that out of the way don't want to drink that <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm waiting for Darwi because we're doing the tour mostly for Darwi who was asking to see the spawn stuff. And so I'm going to wait until Darwi says back. Oh, back. Sonny is being a toot. Oh, don't worry. Dar don't worry about it. It's all good. Internet. Sonny, Sonny's a wonderful, I'm assuming, dog? <laughs> Maybe? Pro tip. Don't <laughs> use gravel for your roof. Captain Vortis is trying to be helpful. Don't use ah, gravel well, for your roof. Thank you. Yeah. Still trying I've to get it out of the carpet. Do it. Oh. <laughs> so terrible, Vortis. So terrible. Okay, continuing with the tour. So everybody's got their own little crate, and I don't have my free cam is is bugging out on 1.19.2 for me. Oh. But way over there, we have Base John's bookshop, which you have the Minecraft book up on top. Kyle made a scaffolding shop way over there in the background. Um, this is Sad Milkman, as you can tell by the steampunk. Hey, Lame Ben 933 thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. Um, steampunk ship, airship. That's also Sad Milkman, who built a warden launcher. Like, it's one of those things where you basically, like, you go in and then the warden, like, punts you out into space and you fly really, really far. I have not done that yet. I haven't yet, tried but it yet, but I You like haven't either? No, I'm no. a big old chicken. Uh, Mig built the bones armor. shop. And then we all saw earlier today, King Elfie's shulker shop, which we have already shopped in. Nice. A recent addition, very recent addition, um, which we discovered Elfie might have a spawning spot somewhere. Because while oh, I was boy. there, um, I got a, a skeleton like drop, dropped on me, kamikaze style. Oh. So somewhere. Yeah, somewhere I was like, ooh, somewhere there's, but it's all good. And you did all this, <laughs> right, to, to bring this down. Yeah. I was advertising it was you. Good. It was all you. Good, good, good. Yeah, this is very well done. I was I was praising you earlier on. You can watch the VOD okay. if you want to have proof that I said it all. Oh, I did. If you want to build um, a fountain, you can. I haven't figured out how to build that yet. <laughs> well, I was going to say, I looked at it and I was like, that's probably going to be a fountain. That looks like it would be a fountain, but we could definitely yeah. like... If you want to give it a go, yes. go ahead. All right, well, maybe we'll try and take that on. We can try and see if we can put a fountain in here. People can throw in some designs on the on the Discord if you want and like the build ideas or Minecrafty stuff. And yeah, yeah uh, Darwi, working on it, the better. A warden launcher. There's a warden in there in that tower, and you go up to a certain part, and the whole world goes dark, like when you're close to a, a warden, and it does the the sonic blast thing, which you take a lot of damage from, but it like blasts you out in the air. And then you just engage your Elytra and you can fly like really far, but it's, yeah, it's a warden like launcher thing. It'll pow, shoot you out. So many followers today. Yeah, we're, we've exploded the, the goal. I usually have a small stream goal of five new followers and we're at, we're at 13, which could be exaggerated because I may have not reset this, this counter. <laughs> <laughs> eight followers today i knew i hadn't reset it so there's five from last stream that were not from tonight but still eight awesome thank you so much um vortis says so i see you folks have minecraft satisfactory and a no man's sky stuff in the discord yeah i have all three games if anyone multiplays them but was wondering if you folks play factorio so at all you like satisfactory as well oh yeah i've spent so many hours on it i have as well i don't have factorio I don't think, but I have played it and Shatter Sparks plays it, used to stream it actually. Love it. Yeah, the programmability and everything and all the logic circuits and stuff. Yeah, Factorio, definitely like. I don't think I own it though, but I've watched it, really like it. Satisfactory. Satisfactory. Is better. Ah, satisfactory is better. <laughs> yeah. 
uh well i mean i've I've, pl I've played satisfactory as well i truly enjoyed it we had a multiplayer world going the thing that i find a little bit challenging with the satisfactory thing is that if you're not playing together all the time one person yeah, can get so really cool. ahead in terms of technology and the other person falls behind you know and that's a challenge yeah, 100%. yeah we started a server with like five of us and then three of us couldn't really get there and two of them grinded and grinded. They had all of this stuff and we showed up and we're like still trying to build the first little vehicle that you can build and they're working on nuclear power. And I was like, ah, <laughs> what? But you had so, everything yeah. unlocked, so. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. We had everything unlocked, but we didn't have any materials. We had to find through all of their storage. They're like, yeah, yeah, it's over here, it's over there. And we're like, basically the, the game was done, you know? So it, it made yeah. it difficult. I think fact- It's kind uh, of the same it, thing with Factorio. You think so? But is Factorio yeah, a multiplayer? It is. I've played with <gasps> my friends before. Oh, I did not know this. I did yep, not know this. It's multiplayer this. and it kind of is the same way as uh, Satisfactory where it progresses with the server, not with the player. Okay, yeah, and if you're not there, people will just move along without you kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, Thal, I had a new YouTube sub up to 92. Thanks, Thal, for Ew. checking that. I appreciate that. Sorry. Yep. <laughs> I'm also trying to keep up on chat. Go, Elfie. No, no, I I wasn't saying anything. I was just saying Ao for the new sub. Hmm. <laughs> Ao, that's what I heard. <laughs> Sunny again? Oh, no worries. We're just chatting here. Um, But we're going to wait for a little quick. Spawn is very cool. Factorio is multiplayer. It's better too because you can run over your buddy with a train. <laughs> Vortis can. likes both. Vortis says, I can't say Fast Satisfactory is better because the 2D aspect gives you things like full blueprints as opposed to Satisfactory doesn't. If you're off by one square on your build, bye bye afternoon. Mm. Do they not? They have now on Satisfactory where you can lock to grid and you yep. can set that and it locks anywhere on the world, right? Yep, and also with the new update, there's blueprints. Oh, is that what that was? Vortis was saying. <gasps> VR. Yep. With I mean, the new update. I can't charge. I'm st I'm standing here waiting for for Darwi to be back. <laughs> Why would I charge? Oh my goodness. Thank you, VR. You're a putz. I prefer to play games with specific players where we only play when both players are on, so nobody gets left behind. Boris, that's the way to do it. Yeah, we would try to yep. schedule it. Like we got to a point where like, okay, Sunday afternoons no other time you can't play any other time like we would lock the world basically somebody would share it and it would only be unlocked when they were there good idea you love that charge noise um okay so for those who maybe have not seen as well we could look at some other things that are here so the bee shop this is um a pig breeder thing don't ask it's a bit weird you'd have to be there from the beginning to know what that's all about mm, strangeness but there's more shops coming. Oh, that's the rocket sh uh, shop ship. Rocket ship shop. Rocket ship shop, Shing. Basically, Kale's build over there. Um, What other shops have we not seen? Because there's still stuff over here. Uh, Did we miss any? The portal? Isn't there one in Kafer's town? Doesn't she have like, oh, a fish shop or something? Yes, Kafer has a fish shop. Well, it's basically, it's just her XP, really slow XP farm. <laughs> that she's like, well, I got all this fish. I might as well sell it. And so she like built a little shop. But it's, I just air quoted in case you could know. Uh, Viking pizza. Yes, you remember when they bred the pigs together. So we had this mod, okay, where whenever a player would log off from the server, a player pig would show up with their name. The pig is indestructible. It won't die. But you could take it and you could like bring it places you could put a lead on it or you could ride it put the carrot in the stick whatever and you could do stuff and then when the player would log back in they were wherever that pig ended up so we had a lot of fun initially like pranking people moving their pigs around all over the world it's kind of silly but then when we updated at some point to 1.19.2 the player pig mod didn't have the update so we were talking like do we update do we not okay well we've had our fun with the player pigs like nobody's really doing that and pranking anymore because we've been on for a while granted we have new people who would probably really enjoy doing it now but yes yes <laughs> but we don't have it anymore and so we're like yeah we can do without it let's just we'll update so that we can get to the newer version and you know we won't have the pigs anymore and lo and behold we updated the server and we all logged back in and everybody's pigs were there 
they're still indestructible. <laughs> they just, they all have player names. Some, I think some people lost their pig. I still have mine. So there's a big hoser. I wish I could rename him to Pig Hoser, but Pig oh, Hoser exactly. is out there in the water somewhere by the Guardian Farm. Kale Hammerin's pig is always here in the pen. And yeah, people used to take the pigs and you could take Kale's pig and Viking's pig and like breed them together and they would make a baby. And then you could name it Viking Hammerin or Kale Pilot. You get the picture. People were breeding all of the different player names and making babies with weird names. It got bizarre. It got bizarre. Not gonna <laughs> lie. <laughs> also, Kyle's beautiful design, his portal, the theme with the red brick, all of this carried on everywhere. And he was looking to try and do something that would commemorate, like sort of symbolize how we were on uh, Pleasant Craft season three. So he's trying to put the P3 logo that we have. Some of you have seen the P3 logo and he was trying different blocks and everything. And he had built all this beautiful stuff. And I was like, hey, you should try birch and this warped blue wood. And he did. And that's the only thing I contributed to the build, but isn't it awesome? <laughs> Come on. It's definitely prominent. It's the right colors and everything. Welcome back, <laughs> Darwi. We were waiting for you. Um, that's pretty much all I did on that part of the design. But so good. <laughs> I, I contributed. I totally did. So we're continuing the tour for you. We've got the shulker shop that we just looked at. And yes, the warden launcher, which throws you out into the sky. I picked up Kyle's design around here. And I just sort of continued his style, modified the walls a little bit, and then built this lovely bridge over to our rail station, which I designed. Did the big old walls, designed the corners and the floor and everything. I love my crazy floor design. And then Milkman and I did a stream together and he finished, kind of took the pillars that I had built here and sort of built his own sort of version of the ceilings and walls and everything. He did the ceiling on top with the glass. So you walk into this big, lovely train station with the floor I that I love. This floor. is why I love my floor, because it's stairs, but you can walk everywhere. And you never do the like dip, 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 dip when you're walking on stairs, but it's this whole big pattern. And this is where we're gonna have the Redstone Railway Station. So we're gonna be able to do a selector rail thing. Oh, this is what Kyle was working on. Okay, okay. I feel like these need to be more grand. We're gonna have to do something <laughs> about this. Kyle, 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 no. Yeah, bigger, not bigger, super grand. No, but, we need know. we need bigger sweeping curving. I think his wife called him and he had to leave. So he didn't get to do as much as he wanted to do. But we're going to make yeah. this bigger, grander. Um, but yeah, so we're going to be able people will arrive downstairs and they'll pop up here and then go where they want. But we're going to we're going to have uh, the rail selector system. And now because it's a big system and we're going to have eight tracks coming out of one and eight tracks coming out of another. I'm pretty sure that I've decided that the rail selector is going to have to go here and it's going to build out of the wall. So we're going to extend this building a little bit, maybe move some of these lovely trees. You know, we might extend into this area and extend over here into this area. Maybe move the path. A lot of work to do. The stairs really add texture. Thank you. I like them. This took me a long time because every time you place one, it turns everything and then you have to mimic it on the other side and then mimic it on this side because it's all symmetrical no matter which way you're looking at it that must have been a pain it was very much a pain epicema epic emma oh, i went with a totally french version <laughs> of that how you doing epic emma <laughs> how you doing nice to meet you epicema i went a little bit french slash italian but yeah this yeah, is uh this italian. is their crazy design and the rail station is going to have, like I said, eight rails there, eight rails there. And then everybody's going to arrive through like a common, all of the rails are going to merge. Oh my goodness, Vortis, what are you doing? <laughs> Epic Emma. <laughs> oh my goodness. Welcome, Emma. You are now subbed and you get lots of syrup. Vortis, thank you. <laughs> my goodness. A lot of work, but worth it. Thank you. I appreciate that. The return rail is going to come through here, right? You come into the basement of the train station, it's gonna pop the layers out and then they're gonna be able to walk up doo -doo -doo -doo, and off they go. So yeah, we're, we're, we're having fun with all of our community builds. This right here, the tavern, come on, look at that flag. 
Come on, I love plugin. this flag. This banner? That's nice. Nice. This is our the bar this is the um oh pick you know what that is in the middle of the building. I'll show it in a second. Give me a second, you clown. You know exactly what that is. What's that thing in the middle, hoser? Doop doop doop. <laughs> so yeah, this is the tavern that they built. This was Mig, Sad Milkman, and Kale. And basically in here they have a bunch of like oh, I've made some friends now. Okay. Um they have a bunch of like job that's basically a tavern right you know hang out come hang out if they go up to the vip section up here or whatever but we've got a lovely design tavern and then downstairs they have all these quests and everything so you can go down here and you can select a quest from all of these options and stuff i won't read the whole thing but there's like you can do quests and you get rewards for it there's different places where you can go and see do this enchant a set of armor um visit three pleasant spaces while they're online blah 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 all of these things build an amethyst farm wait i've done that technically kind of <laughs> epic ammo they're not all mine they're not all mine this is all of us right now there's only me and elfie that are on but this is a content creator smp so there's like a lot of us there's like 15 of us here working on all these things glass panes over wool we've got we've got some crazy crazy builders Huh? Huh? Fancy pants? Anybody want to take notes on some designs? You can totally like steal and make sure you say that it was us that showed you because we're awesome. <laughs> really like Picnic did floor. do the question of the day. Sorry, what was that, Elfie? I really like the barrels on the floor. Adds barrels on the floor. Texture. Yeah, for changing the texture a little bit with you get a little bit of a, an edge to the blocks. Yeah, there's all kinds of little tricks you can do that are really, really really make things look sharp you know but yeah so that's this build and now we'll go we'll go look oh what's this little i like your house viking oh viking built a little random thing no this is tea <laughs> oh tea stuff no touch <laughs> yeah this is tea's house <laughs> it's your little hobo hut tea has a little hobo hut oh that's so good <laughs> oh tea you're adorable I don't think T is here, but that's awesome. Okay, let's. we're not gonna steal her stuff or look at her stuff, that's rude. But yes, let's go take a look because yeah, Base John, Base John, our lovely player, Base John. Base John Memorial Station. Because Base John was the very first person to die on the server for season three of Pleasant Craft on July 8th, 2022. Pretty sure that was day one. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we built a memorial to base John. It's going to be bigger. Uh, this was uh, Milkman needed to finish a video and kind of get some stuff done. So he put this up really quick. I want it to be much bigger and we we're going to have I wanted to try and do one of those like Minecraft art where you do the the actual like the, the person, you know, block for block kind of thing. Oh, yeah. So if I ever get to that project, which is far away, I'm going to. I'm going to move the roof. I'm going to raise the roof here. I'm going to go old school. Raise the roof. Nice. <laughs> Base John, official first death of Wasn't the server. And that that's... Too. What's that? Wasn't it on those blocks? Oh, it was exactly this block. Yeah, that's the whole reason that I built the train station here. It was on this very block right here. The first death. <laughs> I made sure to commemorate it this spot right here i built the entire train station so that this block would be where the memorial was <laughs> intentional and i had a log there with a sign for from day one going this is this is where he died right here <laughs> that's amazing <laughs> yeah we had to make sure we didn't forget you know <laughs> okay i think that's everything that we we need from uh from spawn right good little tour i think so oh i've made friends i've made a lot of friends oh hello <laughs> Oh, I missed that last two. What? I'm shooting arrows everywhere. <gasps> and placing torches. Have I got an infinity bow on this server? I do have an infinity bow on this server. Neat. <laughs> I forgot I had an infinity bow. <laughs> I was trying to pick up my arrows. I'm like, hey, why can't I pick up my arrows? I'm lagging so much. <laughs> There's so much lag. What's going on? Also, if you stand right on top of them, the flame goes away. 
I never noticed that. <laughs> Not on my screen. <laughs> it just looks like you're standing in fire now. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, go stand like right over it. <laughs> That's weird. Only if you're right on it. Neat. Okay. Um. Oh, the language, the question of the day thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Build a base on Colossus on the roof of the station. On the roof? Ooh, maybe. <laughs> Maybe just a or giant. Through the roof. Oh, now we're getting some crazy ideas. Now, <laughs> now it's getting interesting. Nah, well, basically the idea is we're gonna have something. I want to try and eventually do something larger. Eventually. And the question was, you can yeah, as the picnic for those who missed it. The question of the day was, you can speak any language in the world, but you're gonna mess up one in every ten words. You can choose one language that you know perfectly. I said, a hundred percent, I would do it. Whoops, more friends. I'm trying to drink some tea. Leave me alone. Boy, did I get him? I did get him, yep. but where, where does, where'd the goodies go? Oh well. There might not have been any. Oh, sad. Yeah. Uh, how long have you been playing Minecraft? How long have I been playing? Oh, uh, 2014 ish, something like that. Got to beat by Basically. A bit. Yeah. When did you start? I started playing in like 2011, I think it was. It was just before the Nether came out. Hmm. Just before the Nether. Yeah, I don't remember, I remember what that version I was on. Date. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, no, I was... I, I, I honestly, like, I don't really remember because I was... Um, Hex, I can see a question for repost. Give me a second. I'll catch back up to you. But yeah, I was basically, like, I was traveling to Florida to meet the tech team that I was working with, all the developers in Florida. I was the only Canadian employee. I was down there for a week to meet all of the, you know, do some work, but also meet the whole team for the first time and everything. And I basically got to the office, and we're hanging out, and I meet everybody. And they're like, hey, are you going to be here, like, past uh, Friday? Because, uh, you know, we hang out after work on Fridays, and we, like, play some LAN games on the computers. And I was like, sure, yeah, cool. I'm definitely, I'm flying out Saturday or Sunday, whatever. I'll be here for Friday evening. Cool. Let's backtrack a little bit. The only thing I had ever seen of Minecraft is this, okay? I walked into the basement where my brother, my kid brother, was playing, and he was punching rocks or, or dirt <laughs> like this. And I was like, wow. that's all I saw was a big screen of massive pixelation like this when I walked into the basement. And I was like, this is my kid brother. I have eight, I have seven brothers. There's eight of us. The youngest was playing this game. And I was like, what is this? And he goes, it's Minecraft. I was like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm punching rocks so I can make a pick. I was like, what? <laughs> oh, well, like, okay, whatever. And I kept walking. He also did not have torches in his hand. Like all I saw was this. He had no tools, <laughs> nothing, just punching rocks. And I was like, okay, that's what I thought Minecraft was. Like, I didn't know anything about Minecraft. So I go, I'm an adult in my 40s. I go, I meet the, or late 30s, whatever. And I go to meet this team down in the States, all these developers and everything. They're like, what do you, I'm like, yeah, what do you guys play on Fridays? And I'm like, Minecraft. And I flashed the image of my brother who'd been playing on his Xbox. And, and inside I died. I was like, oh no, oh no. <laughs> but I was like, go team. Yeah. So I was like, oh, Minecraft. Cool. That sounds awesome. I've never played it before. Let's go. <laughs> it was great. So after work on Friday, we're all sitting around in the, in the conference room and I'm trying to buy it. I'm like, I've got my credit card out. I'm trying to get online and buy it and everything. And I'm putting in my info and it just wouldn't let me do it because Minecraft has, Mojang had it really locked down where you can't buy with a Canadian card in the US because of the price change and the, uh -oh. like the denomination value. So they've got it seriously locked down. Depending on where you are, you can't buy it in the other countries and stuff because then people would sell, you know, to whatever. People could make money and scam. So I wasn't allowed yeah. to buy it. Kept trying, kept trying. Some of you remember Irrational, Rash, who used to be here all the time, who now has a young baby and basically his life is gone <laughs> for the moment. But he was like, hang on, let me try. And takes out his credit card, puts in his credit card number, boop, goes through right away. 
So I go, oh, I guess you just bought me the game. He's like, yep, I guess I did. <laughs> so that was it. So <laughs> at least I was like, well, at least I didn't have to pay for it. Nice. So we played the game and they showed me everything. And like they were telling me, you can't look at Enderman. So anytime there was an Enderman, I'd look at the ground and I was walking around like that. I didn't know that they meant just the eyes. So like I was looking at the ground all the time. <laughs> Got home, played it a little bit, built a couple, you know, starter homes and things like that. And pretty much after a while I was like, yeah. It's fun, but how many times am I going to rebuild a house, you know, and rebuild a thing? And then all of a sudden, I discovered redstone. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, well, that changed it. Wait, you could automate things? You can make sorting systems? You can have doors and, and things that move by themselves and, and powered rails? And oh, my goodness. Then it just, then I was like, I was hooked. I came back to the game really strong and I got into it a lot. And then I started building really big, crazy things. And people like Sparky, who've been around from the beginning, and Wrathful Monk were like, hey, the stuff you're building, uh, you should be streaming. And I was like, why? Who would want to be here? Who would do that? And they're like, you'd be surprised. Lots of people. And I was like, mm, OK. So that's how I ended up here. <laughs> totally nice. because all of these friends they bought the game for me. I didn't want to play it. I ended up enjoying it. They said I should do this. And here we are. Bam. That's awesome. <laughs> it is awesome. Now I have to go catch up with like all of the chat that I missed while I was telling that story. Give me a second here because there was a question that's yep. been like reposted. Um, okay, okay, okay. Repost. Hoser, random request. Can you pick a letter? Preferably one that means something to you, but it can be any of them doing an art thing related to my language. Uh, the letter M because it is the 13th letter of the alphabet and that is my favorite number. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. Yeah, I just had to check because I always say that, but I, I was like, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. 13th Your letter of the alphabet. 13 is my favorite alphabet. number. M is my favorite letter. Burp. M. Uh, what else did I miss? All right. Do, 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 do. How, the, how long I've been playing Minecraft is what sent me off on that one. Um, I would do it. I don't know what that's about. I repost it because Emilia wanted to know the question of the day. Oh, yeah. Darwi's been playing since February 2013 in between. So after you, but before me. Vortis has been playing for almost uh, three months now. <laughs> Flex. <laughs> Hex has played a long time uh, since at least before beta, before there was any survival mechanics, roughly around 2009. Nice. Oh, so when it was still a browser game? Was it still a browser game, Hex? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, Redstone is why I came back to Minecraft Vortis. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. Then you spent months trying to play and never got another crystal to use Redstone stuff beyond really simple things. You have yet to place or even make an observer. Oh my goodness, Vortis. Just wait. Just wait. You'll. It's the stuff you can do when you start really getting into it. Bonkers. So good. And Hex says, yeah, it was when it was a browser game. Ooh. Oh, okay. That's something I'm gonna have to get used to with my little exercise bench under the table now. Ow. <laughs> um, what else? What else? Uh, I have yet to do. And now you have so many people who love and support you. Oh, Amelia, thank you. That's very kind. My linguistics professor loved the word murmur. It's a good word. Murmur. Um, M. Oh, yeah, that's oh murmur. Ah, there you go. Murmur, murmur. Good letter. My name starts with M. It's a great letter. It's the best letter. Everyone says, Hoser, you should do this full time. Maybe we can. Oh, yeah, that's the YouTube thing. <laughs> uh, I was also Pod says I was also an early adopter and played beta. Pod, nice. Epic Emma Minecraft was one of the first games I ever played. And you love it. It's a great game. Oh, the things you can do. Little, uh, little um, Dr. Seuss reference. Water, please, I can't redeem. Why, you need me to drink water? Can I drink tea instead? Does that count? Because it's, it's going cold. Mmm. Uh, Hex posted the link to- on top of my shop. What's that? There's visitors on top of my shop. Oh, you made <laughs> friends. <laughs> um, it's not usually Hello. where you enter from, guys. That's not, the door's down there, you dorks. <laughs> You look very mad at me, though. Look at him. He's a protector. Yeah. Ooh, he's a protector, maybe. You've got golems. I uh, know. What are the gargoyles? Gargoyles. <laughs> You've got gargoyles. 
Uh, angry eyebrows. So, angry am eyebrow gargoyle. Also, side note, that TV show, the cartoon was great. Butterbear says, I love Redstone. Sadly, my skills are stuff in pre-observer days. Wow, just you gotta learn. Pick's been playing Minecraft since 2020. What kind of tea? It's actually a rooibos tea. Rooibos, which is a, uh, a red um, decaf tea. Rooibos. It's very good. What is this for? Four, 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 oh. Four, 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 oh, well, somebody four, did it for four, you. Four, four, Therefore, he's got the points. Covered him for you, Amelia. All right, all right. Um, Pix says, Pa, didn't you have a Minecraft skin since Minecraft Beta Edition that you changed recently? <gasps> you had a, the Minecraft skin from Get Out, really? Pa? A, a skin from Minecraft Beta? Nice. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, there's more of you. <laughs> it's like, wait a second. Wait Getting a second. Squared. How the heck did that happen? How's it going, Dombi? It's going. I did not see you log in. When did you log in? I missed it. I've, just, I've been just chilling the whole time you've been chatting here. Nice. I did not notice. Yeah. So King Elfie, King Dominic. I saw him sneak up there and I was like, why Dual King. <laughs> I, I know, swear, I, like, I scare swear. Him or... No, no, no. I swear at some point, I thought I saw diamond armor like out of the corner of my eye as I was like turning around and looking at stuff. And, but then you hid, like you were hiding well. I was like, wait, did I just? So I was like kind yeah, of looking I, around. Yeah, I was over here right when you lo like walked. I was <laughs> I'm pretty sure I saw, I was like, oh, you might my, brain, my brain just skipped over it. It was like, yeah, it's okay. Hey, Mig, <laughs> everyone's sneaking up on Hoser. Like you would never know. Yep. Not like that clip that is probably one of the most watched things on the channel that I have is when you scared the crap out of me. <laughs> the big star, cause my, I was speaking and basically like I was trying to say something and then they took the, the words that I, the sounds that I made and made it the title. And it was basically going the big star. Yeah, it was me. Anyway, how's it going? What are you working on? Uh, trying to get materials for my base still. Right on. What are you grinding? What materials? Uh, a lot of random stuff. Mm. Like tough and stone related blocks. Oh, damn. But it's like 2,000 of like each. Vortis. Oh, you know where Seriously. to find stone if you need it. Oh, yeah. Oh. Whoa. And a double foghorn. Sorry, they're, they're ju jump scaring stuff. I just said, oh yeah, I, I, I can, I can see. <laughs> oh. Thank you again, Fortis. You're well, such a jerk. Your I finger slipped. You. I've got to get going. But All enjoy right. the rest of your stream. <sighs> they won't stop. I'm sorry. I'm trying to say goodbye and be polite. <laughs> see you later. See you later. Thanks for hanging out. And yeah, we're going to yeah, be going back to the barter area soon anyway to try and see if we can do any of the work that we're supposed to be doing. <laughs> oh, oh, stop. I'll see, you, see, you, I'll see you later, LP. Thanks Elfie. for hanging out. Thank you. Whee! Off he goes. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, Mig. It's for some reason, even you can't do links. For some reason, like nobody can. Even when we do the permit command, it doesn't allow it. I apologize. Awesome. <laughs> There's more buttons. Is there a way to do a clip command like you can do with the quotes? Um, I don't know, Butterbear, how you could automatically clip. I am trying to work on an automatic clip thing that I would be able to use voice attack. This song, sorry, a little bit aggressive. We're going to skip you. Hey. Oh. It's I'm me. I'm being... Oh, hey, Mig. How's it going? I'm going to go sleep. Are you going to sleep? It's probably a good idea. Oh wait, let, let, let me open because we have OBS. OBS. I'm I'm trying to read chat while fighting these guys. How can you pick a shape or item? Something that's akin to a spade. Um Can I pick a shape or an item? Like an in-game item? Because I would choose the dirt block. OBS but that's like a just cube. crashed, just as I opened it. Come on. Your OBS crashed? Not good. I'm not paying attention to, to these things. They're not really hurting me, so I'm okay. Um, 
but I am trying to figure out if I can get voice attack to work. And this is what I've been trying to talk about is I'm going to get voice attack to be able to do clips for me so I can speak to Little Hoser. Little Hoser can run a command through StreamerBot. StreamerBot will record and then I'd have clips. How you might be able to do it with a command, I don't know. Preferably not. I'll get back to you later. Ping me on, on Discord though, uh, Hex, because I will totally forget. I'll totally forget, but I will. So what's up? What are you working on? Oh, I just got here. <laughs> what are you, I, wanted to, right. I, wanted to, I wanted to show you. Oh, show me what? All right, we're going to go see something else? Yes, oh, it's right over here. It's our well, shop. We just finished a whole big tour, you goofball. <laughs> I totally showed off the shop that is oh, right, on, but that you like... Boom, boom. 100% totally you built completely by yourself even though it's our like we, we I told them we've been trying to forever to find time where we could both be look, here look, together look, look. You, you you do the maintenance you do you there do you all go. the hard work I just I'm I just gonna do, do some more of house stuff yeah you I'm do, gonna do, do some more decoration inside and I'm still working today actually on fixing the redstone system actually that's what I've been doing well trying to get back to do and and haven't really been doing a lot of <laughs> but we're gonna, I'm gonna get the barter system up and running soon so we can have stock for this thing. Yes. Yeah, very soon. Oh, I can't wait. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Uh, I'm gonna I have might to figure also, out. I was also. Yeah, go ahead. I was also thinking we could also stock some stuff that I find from Bastions, maybe some special items. If oh, I, if absolutely. I find any, we could have sales on. Uh, very rare like the like the little banner pattern thing that you yeah 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 the... for sure yeah are you finding a lot of bastions is that what you're saying i haven't even found one but i haven't really been looking or anything well here's the thing now i, I have to start doing that but i i gave up elytras for a bit oh so i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna have to do it all on foot <laughs> oh my okay hmm. that's the thing you're doing I'm, now I'm... no elytra wow yeah, and we do have I was, an economy. I was, on, I was honestly thinking of traveling right below the bedrock roof, trying to find some of them, and then just once I go far enough, I just, you know, ender pearl up into the roof and just run my way back. <laughs> I mean, ballsy, but yeah, go for it. I definitely, it's, I do it, it, not it's, like it's, being it's, in the it's, nether it's without called, my wings. It's called living life on the edge. It's it's <laughs> time. I, I've been living too comfortably. <laughs> All right. Time with, for some with challenges. With like wings and stuff. You're going to be yes. pushing yourself. I get it. I get it. All right. Well, and I'm going to head go back, back to, to the... Elytras once I inevitably die in lava and get frustrated. Yeah, once you die and lose all your stuff, then you'll be like, all right, that, that was tough enough. I want my wings back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to head back to our barter farm because we've been trying to get there for like ever. Um, we finished our whole tour. And just to answer the last question on it, we do have an economy, um, but it's like everybody sets the price for their own things and you pay with diamonds and get what you want kind of thing. But um, yeah barter people i guess barter if they if they want to right if people are bartering if they kind of want yeah that's more, so that's far, more unofficial diamond. i mean we do have the job board where people can get rewards for yes yes we showed them the we showed tasks. them the uh the tavern with the rewards and the different things very cool yes. by the way everybody really loves the banner and everything mig is one of the ones i, that was I just building, basically remember? for six Make. diamond blocks i basically got people to uh to, to mine the materials for my base for me. <laughs> <laughs> you are tricky. All right. Well, to the two of you. I mean, I, I've got I've got to outsource some work. Otherwise, I'm going to be here all day. Yeah, you got more important stuff to do, like running through the nether with no wings. You lunatic. <laughs> yep. Uh-huh. All right. I'll catch you both later. We're going to try and yep, fly back ya. up. See ya. All right. See ya. You, see ya. later. Now we're gonna try and see if we can actually get back up there. We're probably not even gonna to get to do much on the, the actual farm thing. Um, okay, well, I'm trying to catch up on chat a little bit as well. Sometimes I look at stuff and wonder what went through the mind of the person who invented the thing I'm looking at. Like, who would even think of making a mattress? I mean, the earliest settlers ever in the world were probably stuffing hay or something underneath them to sleep on so those have been around for a long time Emilia. <laughs> oh you're a dork um but yeah so that was our that was our uh, little uh, tour good times and this is what we're supposed to be working on also good times 
So the I what? Look at you, VR. Look at you. I think I was supposed to drink water at some point. Somebody might have done a hydrate. It was most excellent, Darwin. Thank you for asking for it. We got to, got time to go take a look at everything. Do you want one of the card suits? Heart Diamond Club. Me? Are you asking? Do I want one of them? I mean, I don't know what we're doing. So at this point, I'm just randomly saying things. But if you hit me up on Discord, probably could do that. Be better because then I will know and I'll have time to think and not be entirely focused on the wrong thing. So I don't know what we're asking, but I don't, I don't want one of the suits necessarily. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I uh, we're gonna try and think our way through this right now. So, okay. I want the minecart to be able to drop a little bit further down. Then you have to wait and that requires patience. I know, isn't it sad? Isn't it sad? You'll be fine. So we want the minecart to drop a little bit further. One of the ideas I had was that I would be able to place a block and then take, uh, where did I put them? Does anybody remember what shulker I put the uh, amethyst shards in? Your friend just exploded your house. Oh no, <laughs> bad friend. <laughs> there they are. All right, so we're gonna use these. And the idea is to test the theory. I don't think it will work, but we wanted to test if the space that they require would cause them to move differently. So. That goes to halfway. The fence post went two more in, right? So the fence post goes middle, but then also two blocks that way. Doesn't work with hitbox hitboxes. So we drop this on the rail. Ooh, it definitely activates. It definitely activates the cart, but now I don't think that it will pick up because it's no longer on. Oh, it's still kind of touching. If the hitbox... No. Minecart has fully dropped into... <sighs> mm. So now this will not give it any, any items. There's nothing to pick it up. So. No bueno. No bueno. Hmm. Silk touch? Yes. <sighs> and that's the largest of them. So like Do they have do they have a peripheral, like a side block? They do. But they're all the same. And then if this does push, does it break it? terrified to try it but you know what because we've got the that's the large the cluster right no let's use the cluster and I'm pretty sure this doesn't work we are all pretty sure that if I break this torch we're gonna end up like we're gonna end up moving the block I am streaming a little bit longer tonight, Amelia. Maybe not an hour. I'll probably go for another 10, 15, 20 minutes-ish. Maybe play a little bit of this, try and think our way through this. Yeah, see it moved it. Oh, and broke it into shards. So I'm so glad I didn't use one of the other ones. So smart. I am so smart. S-M-R-T. Okay, so... How do we get it to stop halfway on the block? Or how do we get it so that we can... Mm. Mm. Hey, Viking Pot's here as well. Everybody's here. You're so tired, Amelia. Thank you for hanging out. You are also, you gotta go to bed. 
you're like six hours ahead of us. Have a fantastic night's sleep and thank you for hanging out. We'll see you soon. I'll be back on Monday. Have a good weekend. I'll catch you on Discord. We'll chat tomorrow. I always chat on Discord with everybody in the mornings. I sit down, make my coffee, go through the morning coffee ketchup. I don't drink coffee with ketchup. I do coffee while I catch up with Discord. And go through all of it, all the chats, the pings, we talk, and we have a good time. But have a wonderful sleep, min lila svenska flicka. We'll see you soon. I hope it's okay that I called you that. <laughs> Every time I say it, I'm like, mm, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's okay. Didn't say it's okay. <laughs> mm. It's okay. Good. Thank you. All right. So here's the thing. I'm fairly certain that if I can get a hopper. All right. All right. All right. That's not going to power it. I can go that one would push go forward if I use the fence gate here I put the redstone torch back under it it powers there I move this hopper I put the hopper facing into here and that is not powered by anything, right? Still active. And then we essentially can cheat our way over it by using a few more hoppers. So we go hopper on top of that. This is so hard to work inside of this space, but if I put a hopper on top of that and then slap that one there. It's a waste of a couple hoppers, Yeehaw. but it's not the end of the world. Hey, Epic Emma. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. So now, it's a little bit messy. It's a little bit messy. But if I've got that switch on, it powers this block, which means that this will be locked. It shouldn't move, right? Shouldn't move. It will not take any of the hopper, uh, the gold. We put the minecart, hopper minecart back on. Boop, it's there. Ah, it starts taking it immediately. Why? Because this is the one that's locked. Oh, but hang on a second. Hang on. That means if it's there. No, that is moving. No, it's going into the chest. Uh, of course it's going to the chest, Hoser. Of course it's going. Well, not that one, but the other one. This one. Of course it's going into there. Okay, so what I need to do is somehow lock. Need to lock this one. No, this one. Locking this. What? What? Does a wall have a different hitbox than a fence post? Block with a lever. Um, what do you mean block with a lever? And does a wall have a different hitbox than a fence post? I believe, yes, definitely. A wall has a different hitbox. But the problem is that it will still be centered. If you're suggesting that I would replace the fence post with the wall and that it would somehow maybe push it further back. <clears throat> the problem is that because while it is up here, it is not in that space. It's not so much that it isn't covering over this side it's that it is not it is not um it's not low enough it's not it's still up on this level here not this level here so it's not going to interact with this and once it is down on this level here even if it's phasing into the side here it's it's down here and can no longer receive from the hopper here so it's a vertical problem as well as a horizontal problem block with the lever on that's adjacent to the hopper you want to turn off oh powering it is not the issue i can easily turn it off that's what this is doing right here so this is actually yeah it's, it's a lever that's up hang on i'll show you real quick uh, yes, what you just suggested is what's happening over here. So that lever right there is powering this redstone dust to the repeater, to the block. 
which is locking this hopper right here. This hopper is locked. It will not take items from above, but it will allow items to be dropped into the minecart. Bad, we don't want that. So, think, think, think. Can I lock? So the detector rail is down there anyway. So now the other issue we have is because the detector rail is here, the minecart's never gonna, like we'll never have an unlock on the system. This thing would fill up all the way and never unlock because, let me just grab the rest of this that I dropped here. Even if it's full, it's not on the detector rail. So the detector rail needs to see it, but the detector rail powers the hopper above or locks the hopper above. So this is the issue I'm having where I have to have a mechanism that allows it to come back in. Skip if it's not full. Wait a second, that's also a mistake. This should be connected here and then you. Okay, so the, it will go down that way and then when it's still got gold, it'll skip over this, drop back down and keep cycling around until it's empty. When it's empty, it pops into here. So when it has items in it, so for people who've not seen it, when it has gold in it, it will trigger this right here, takes an output, power, 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 and the right time is set so that by the time the minecart comes up this little hill, this rail is turned and connected here. So the minecart skips the refill station and it goes right back around, it goes around. Still has gold, skips the refill, goes around. Empty, triggers, doesn't trigger anything. Empty, goes in for refill. What I'm missing now, all of that works beautifully. Now what's missing is when it is full, unlock and allow it to release. You can do it pretty easily. There's systems you can find redstone online, but not within this tight of a space. That's the issue. Everything that I'm touching powers another block, which locks a hopper, which locks a rail, which is a problem. So it's because of the cramped space of things. Um, if we don't want the hopper to drop items into the minecart, isn't there a way to make a hopper only move a specific type of item to the massive automatic disorders where you could say move only feathers when feathers would never be present, essentially locking it? Y yes, building a filter, but I still need it to somehow allow it to go when it's full. Getting the items into the minecart is not the issue. It's allowing the minecart to leave once it is full. Ours is in hardcore, your friend just killed me. <gasps> no, Epic Emma. No. You just lost your hardcore world because of your friend? Oh, bad friend. <laughs> bad friend. Thanks for the lurk, Butterbear. I appreciate it. I'm going to, I'll be able to think about it. I just need to spend some time thinking. And this whole stream was supposed to be me uh, thinking about it. <laughs> Basically, we did a lot of not thinking about it because the one trick I wanted to use to maybe have it stop the thing doesn't work. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. <sighs> so the idea is... Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't... Well, you're right. I don't necessarily... I might have to rethink some of the compactness of it. You're not wrong. Um, I may have to, but it's because the original idea was we wanted to just be able to have a switch where you can AFK at the gold farm above us, which is this big massive thing, right? Classic donut in the sky of the nether. And then be able to just flip a switch and out of the gold storage, just drain all of the ingots that you've got turn it on, drain those into the barter system when you wanted to run the barter. Otherwise, there's no gold leaving the barter system. Uh, rather, the gold farm. The gold would stay there. If you want to turn on the barter trade, flip that switch, it unlocks something, sends the rails, so we kind of built everything, and now I have to make the redstone fit. <laughs> Basically, I've built myself a problem, is what I did. Uh... Is there room for an observer comparator to see when the minecart is full from the side? That's what this comparator is doing right here. 
But the problem is in order for the minecart to give a signal to the comparator, it needs to be on that detector rail that's right there. And the detector rail, as soon as it detects something, powers and it locks the hopper that is above it. So that's what caused the whole initial issue. The issue is I know exactly how to do what you are after, but not in that specific area, nor can I words. Why did your friend kill you in Hardcore World Epic Emma? Yeah, why? That is most uncool. Indeed. Uh, yeah, Hex, I know what to do. I built it. I know exactly how to do it. But I think what I'm going to have to do is essentially drop one of these chests and put a hopper there and be able to filter it in from the side. I'm, I'm fairly certain I can figure it out. I was really hoping that that little trick would, with the block would work. Because if the amethyst head worked, or what's the other one that I had? I had a, uh, a mob head, you know, if it could maybe be a slightly different size. Maybe it would be on both blocks at the same time. Well, but it doesn't actually block it. So that doesn't work at all. So you see it's empty, comes back up. Oh! Oh, I broke the rail. Oh no! We sent the minecart. Where'd the minecart go? Oh no! Uh, it looped around. It went through a block. Oh, and it phased down into here. Nice. All right, well, that was interesting. I placed some rails and didn't see them connect. Killed you because he would not give you the diamonds. That's a bad friend. Bye bye, friend. No longer a friend. So yeah, so we want that to happen, but this doesn't work at all. Just curious. Pick is like into the drama. Drama, tell me more. I must know. And your friend had diamonds as well. Not cool. Why would you fight for diamonds? They're just, they're diamonds. They're fake. They're not real. <laughs> they exist in a game called Minecraft. So the, the original design is this right here, this detector rail is up here. And then it does all of this comparator stuff at a different level. But what we were finding is, is that when Butterbear pointed out, as soon as the minecart is on top of it, it powers and locks the hopper that is feeding it. So as soon as you were trying to do it, that hopper would be locked and you wouldn't get any items. That's entirely the problem right now. I'm wondering if, I was just trying to think if, if I had the piston like here and sticky block. Also, this thing keeps reconnecting every time that the minecart comes over it. Why? Why? this. Oops, I cannot. Oh, I have fallen down. <clears throat> so yeah, flip that switch, power, lock the thing, and then The trick is going to be to try and find a spot where I can get an unpowered block. But again, we've waited until the very end of the stream, and now I'm super tired. And my brain is fried, and I'm trying to think my way through it. So, yeah, we're not we're not going to find a solution right now. 
I will have to think about it a little bit more, preferably at the beginning of a stream, or maybe on the weekend if I've got some time to putz around, because I really do feel like we need to move this so that we can get some things going for the, for the server, you know? My brain can't think on tiredness. It does, I do get tired. But that would be where the new piston would be. Milkman's joined the game. All the late night arrivals. All the late night arrivals. So now... You would... Oh, you know what's happening? Oh, no. <gasps> oh, I didn't even consider that. The piston is bud powering. So when the... The piston bud powers. Okay, watch that rail. So this is so the minecart can come in, drop down, keep going, right? Probably can't work with that there. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Breaks everything. Ugh. Bud powering. Uh, block update. So as the piston moves into the space, the block is updated. And simply by updating the block, certain things are powered because the block is carrying power through. Block update is bud powering. Yeah, so there's, there's bud powering going on. And by default, the rail wants to connect that way because it has both options. It will connect this side if there is no option, and then once it has connected, you do that. Ah, oh, tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Uh, unless, do I have levers on me? I do not, but I have some over here. Hang on. Levers. Also, I need to put some junk away. All of this didn't work. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have that shulker over there. Over there. Stay organized, Hoser. Stay organized. Everyone follow and subscribe. <laughs> Thanks, Epic Emma. <laughs> I appreciate that. Out of nowhere. <laughs> I mean, there's no obligation, you know, but following is free. And if you want to hit up on the on the Discord and join us, do it. We love hanging out with all there's only one rule. You just you just have to be a good human. That's it. That's all you need. And I know some people are like, but I don't identify as a human. I identify as a furry or as an undead zombie or as a toaster oven. That's fine. You can be whatever you want to be. Just as long as you are a good one of those. That's all we need. Be a good one. That's all. All right. Be the best toaster oven that you can. But if you're a good toaster oven, come join us. Um, okay, so if I break this and then replace that with full block, yeah, full block, which is ugly right now, I get that, but then rail, break you, rail, and then uh lock you then you should not ever turn even when the piston powers so if i place this redstone towards this should not move anymore Oof. perfect see how it does not move this time so that is fixed one issue fixed we can keep that locked in the orientation we need put that back put i've lost the fence post how did I lose the fence post? How? Because I'm tired. Because my brain is going poo poo. Poo poo brain? Where are you? Fence post, are you in my inventory and I just can't see you? No. Nope. Did I lose it for real? Is it down there on the ground somewhere? Are you down there somewhere? <laughs> Where'd it go? No. Oh, I lost it. Are you down here? Hello? I lost the fence post. No. So sad. Boo. Okay, well. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to do some thinking. I'm gonna have to do some thinking. That's okay. Ooh, what a night, what a night. It's been fun. Yes. Captain Vortis', Vortis is calling it a night, head to bed. I am going as well. I am definitely, definitely. We're getting up to the top here. We're gonna find a safe spot. We're gonna say goodnight to everybody. I have a lot of thank yous to, to send out. And then uh, and then we're gonna log, find somebody somebody to, uh, I tried, yeah, I had the hitboxes on, Hex. I, I, I don't know where it went. I wasn't paying attention. But you can see I did it. Hitbox shown, hidden. Couldn't see it anywhere. It's all good. It's alright. It's just a, it's one fence post. I'll find it. I'll make a new one. I will figure things out. <laughs> Sleep well, Vortis. Check the piglin hoppers. Maybe it fell into the cart. Yeah, it's probably it's probably either in the mine cart or it got distributed to somebody. Like, I'm not gonna we'll find it. We'll find it. It's all good. It's all good. Epic Emma is tired as well. We're all tired. Here's the thing, folks. I'm past my schedule because we went a little bit late. I ended up streaming later than normal, but normally I stream from Monday, 7 p.m. till 11 p.m. 7 to 11, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then for those who are doing following along on the YouTube journey, trying to help me see if we can make that happen for real, the VODs are up on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, again, 7 p.m. And I truly appreciate all of you that are doing that, spending the time clicking and playing the, that in the background. It, it's an amazing, amazing level of support thank you thank you uh but we're gonna we're gonna end here i i i really <laughs> i cannot be trying to figure out redstone at this hour of night it's not gonna work it's just not gonna work brain go boop 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 so eric says hello hello puppy eric who's a good boy when is the next stream i will be streaming on monday darwi monday Next stream is Monday, 7 p.m. So I do Monday, Wednesday, Friday live streaming. And then the streams end up going up onto YouTube the next day. So Monday is on. Yeah, do, 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 do. Thank you for that, Thalaman. I appreciate it. Monday works for you. I really lovely meeting you, Darby. I'm really looking forward to the event. And we'll uh, we'll be chatting there, right? On that other place. Shh, secret, don't tell anybody. Psh, secret, but Darby. Nice. <laughs> and your brain fried. Yeah. It should be very good times. I'm really looking forward to it. There's a lot of really nice people in chat so far on the Discord, so like, should be really fun. I know quite a few of the people from Pleasant Craft, but also some other little circles that I've known people in, and uh, it, it's looking like a really fun, uh, fun time. It's gonna. I I just hope I can live more than a day. <laughs> That's all I'm really hoping is I can survive more than just like one day. Yeah. All right. Who is live? Let's quickly, and if anybody's still here and you're all just chilling, as always, I know it's late for all of us. You are, we're usually in bed by this time. But if you feel like raiding, let's go find somebody chill to raid. Doing some, maybe some digging, some low-key building. And y'all can fall asleep to somebody else's pleasant, dultry sounds. Um, ooh, okay. Shro, we just raided recently. Hi, it's Kai is playing Minecraft, but she's trying to do, she's doing uh, the heart. Yeah, hers is not very chill. It's not very chill at all. Hmm. Nbents is playing Madden. Can't raid Nbents. Who else is playing Minecraft? Yeehaw! Whoa. Hey, Dreadbone with the last minute follow. Thank you for that. Holy cow, by the way. I know the counter was not reset because we, for, I, I say we, I totally forgot. Uh, But still, if you take off five, that's still 10 follows this evening. Destroy. Thank you all so much. Destroy the goal. Lena, who's on? Lena's celebrating one year of being, um, of being uh, a Twitch affiliate. Did a lot of streaming over the weekend. What are they doing? Base building, storage, botania, and vaults. Okay, so one vote will be... Lena Hoon and everybody else is doing like Fortnite and all kinds of other things. Yeah, maybe it's just we're going to Lena Hoon. Maybe we just go see Lena Hoon. Lena Hoon it is. Let's go raid Lena. Celebrate. Share the love with Lena, who is celebrating one year streaming, being a Twitch affiliate, 
did a whole big uh, stream week kind of thing. And I'm just going to make sure that they are actually live. They've only been at it for an hour and 50, so they should be on for quite a little bit of time hanging out. Thank you for posting that, by the way. That's the raid message. Hashtag sticky maple syrup raid. And then you throw in whatever hearts or anything's that you want. Oh, hi, Risey popping in with the last minute. Hello. We're going to go see Lena. How you doing? I was hanging out with you earlier. And then by the time I came back from the pool, you were you were gone. Mm, but it was fun. <laughs> Good to see you again. Um, yeah, Lena Hoon doing some celebration. Go throw some love that way. Remember, sticky maple syrup raid. And then any of the... If you've got the syrup cans, throw them in. Or some hearts. Let's go be nice and be positive and, and help somebody else. You're doing well. Just been lurking around. I appreciate the lurk, Rizy. Thank you for that. Thank you. Good night to you, Swamp. Hey, Swamp. I didn't even see you pop in. Good night to you, Swamp. Well, good morning to you. How's the future? Is it good? World is still there tomorrow. We're looking good. All right. Lena is still live. Let's go. Raid. Alina Hoon. Start. When I press this button, the whole world ends. Well, not the whole world, but my stream does. Have a fantastic weekend. To those of you who are on the Discord, I will catch you tomorrow morning as we chat, as we always do. Thank you for popping in and supporting and helping other little streamers, spreading that positivity and the energy. Truly appreciate it. Um, it was a ridiculous night tonight. Like, ridiculous. Dread, ten follows. Dreadbone, Epic Emma, Name Bem, Darwi, all of the bits thrown in. Butterbear with a 10,000 bit. Breaking records. S level six, seven hype train. It, it was just bonkers. Uh, Vortis gifting, what was it, 12 subs? Like just off the chain, I believe, and off the hook and off the everythings, as people say. Yeah, it, it's been phenomenally bonkers. Thank you all so much for all the support. It's truly a little bit hard to uh, accept the time. Here comes the raid. It's going to happen whether I keep talking or not. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and whomever you're doing it with, or two, uh, try. Just try to be a good human. If we could all do that, what an amazing place this would be. Take care. I'll see you on Monday. Have a fantastic weekend. Peace.